because that might just be a happy accident. <laughs> yeah. I actually made everybody who recognized me at PAX suck on my toes. Oh, oh it's, that's that why you're sick. That's, very, that's yeah, why I'm no, sick. Yeah. Exactly. Mm, no. Actually, I'm pretty sure, by the way, Austin and Rob are here. Ooh, hello. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was... Great silence, <laughs> then loud cacophony. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was I was getting the uh, I got a bit donation. Which, by the way, side note: if you if any bit donations that you put out today, if you do a hashtag charity in your message, um, Twitch will match a part of that to uh, the extra life charity. Yeah, but the real story here is that all subscriptions are half off right now. Yeah, right? that is they're some not though. Yes. They're not though. So they're not. They they're not it. subscription. They're to not though. They're not though they delayed it. It's not live yet. All right, all right, ah, all right, okay. all right, all right, all right. Oh, let's play yeah, some I didn't Isaac. Know they delayed it. Let's play Isaac. Sick. Okay. Sick. I'm actually. You play Isaac? Uh, dude, let's do it. Yeah, give me all a right. seed, then I'll I'll launch into the yeah, story let's do of. The seed. I can pinpoint the exact moment I got sick. Written. Really? <laughs> yes. All right. When the third man had my pinky toe, <laughs> just brush <laughs> off his lips. Okay, R four F P. Wait, what character? What character? Isaac? Okay. Oh fuck! I just hit space. No, don't say it yet. Don't say it yet. Okay, I did okay, the okay, thing okay, that okay, everyone okay. always does. Okay. All right. Tab. Okay, I'm good. R four F P. All right. Okay. Peg W. Nice. All right. All right. I like it. Peggy Lemons. Wayne is in my ears and in my um. So I was never send me Here. bits when I'm about to launch into some banter. I was literally playing a game at PAX, surprise, surprise. I yeah. hear and feel like a dude sneeze so loud right next to my oh, ear that no. like the lobe of my ear vibrated oh, no. from the force. And I was just like, oh. well, you're done. That's it. <laughs> you just, there's, there's nothing you can do at that point. At least at that point, you could continue on without the fear of getting sick. Right, you yeah. You had gotten yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's that part. You're going to say the force knocked me backward into several people's backpacks. At exactly, yeah. yeah. I was. I'm sure, like, people going down in an airliner are like, well, at least I don't have to worry that I'm going down in an airliner. Now yeah, we know. <laughs> Wait, can you get a cold from sucking a dick? Um, Dude, I have to imagine. Cum yeah. probably carries germs, right? You would think, yeah. Well, I mean, Because yeah. you said going down in an airliner is why I said that. Uh, all right, okay, I see what you're saying. It felt like no. bringing that up, but... Have you ever uh, gone down on Dave Coulier in a theater? Uh, every day. Uh, Who? Not uh, yet, Dave, but Dave there's Coulier? still time? Dave, it's actually Dave Coulier. Uh, <laughs> it's actually Dave Coulier? Dude, now there's a Photoshop already. <laughs> no, but now uh, I'm yeah. actually curious. Can you just... Can you transmit yeah, germs via cum? I... Why not? Why not? Well, I just mean, like, when you get sick, does your cum get yeah. sick as well? <laughs> <laughs> like, you obviously, know, you wouldn't... LSS, start working. <laughs> you would never want to, like, if someone's sick, you would never want to, like, eat their snot or drink their spit. You'd probably what? never want to do that in a normal circumstance, but... It's like mucus, isn't it? it doesn't kind of carry the same exact everything as mucus. Oh, then hopefully not the same exact everything, because can you impregnate a woman with mucus? Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Have you ever wow. shot your nose load into her? Never mind. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard of this thing called AIDS? Mm. Crazy little thing. No, but you're right. Like... <laughs> oh, I'm oh, oh AIDS. that's really. That's a... That was about the worst song you could. <laughs> <chosen>. <laughs> Really bad what? song that. To on that one. <laughs> well, because he died of AIDS. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. really bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think you, oh, you processed that one. I'm sorry. I didn't. I genuinely did not. It was You're also still like. On the plane, Ryan. <laughs> it was his birthday yesterday as well. So, like. Yeah. That's probably the worst. Mm. Well, um. Did you also see there was uh, a <laughs> picture of Rami Malek as Freddie Mercury? I did see that. Yeah. It looked pretty good as Freddie Mercury. I gotta Does say. anybody ever Photoshop Freddie Mercury into a thermometer? Name. I um, get it. <laughs> yeah. Because it would register 300 degrees. Yeah. That's exactly right. Exactly, right. yeah. He's... That's why they call him Mr. Fahrenheit. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Rami Malek <laughs> looks dope. I want to eat his cum. That's, oh, that's nice. That's what chat. Were you reading that out of chat? I was reading yeah, that out of chat. Yeah. Okay. I'm not. Right. Well, 
I was gonna say I'm not eating anybody's cum because I'm sick, but maybe that means I should just eat everybody's cum. Yeah, yeah eat all the cum. The throat, if you, right? yeah. What if you like it? Throat. Get all that protein, you know? I think I tell this story every time I get sick, but there's a, a, a drink called Neocitrin, which is just like a tea with antihistamines in it that you drink when you're sick, because it tricks your body and it basically dopes you up into thinking you're not sick. Uh, but the Neocitrin plant, like, stopped manufacturing it, so there's all these knockoffs now. So I am itching for some hot lemon relief. Oh god, oh god. Itching for some hot lemon relief. I thought that all those lemon-flavored drinks don't do anything, they're all just sort of placebos. Well, Neocitrin is like, I, I believe in the UK it's called Lemon Sicky Drink, I can't remember, but it's the same <laughs> yeah. thing. It, Sounds very UK, yeah. Correct. Exactly. It is basically yeah. just like, it's not medicine, it's just like Sudafed and tea. And then you drink it and right. you're like, well this is nice, and then an hour later you're like, I could sleep for a hundred years. Hey, quick question. Yes. Uh, what is the piece of bread that's bitten into and it has mold on it? Uh, that's an item called moldy bread. You named it. You got it right <laughs> okay. there. What do All you right. call it when you take a legal course of action against the FBI. Um, I don't know. Pseudofeds! Oh, I like it. And what if oh. James Franco was an FBI <laughs> don't agent? start with me. I thought it was going to be like a Muller Mulder kind of an... Uh -huh. You've been watching no. some X-Files? No, Moldy Bread. But that too. Moldy uh, Bread? I see. Moller, more Mulder, specifically, Mulder. I didn't really want to know the name, but more what it did. It gives you one it's HP. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Thank you. <laughs> if you want to know the names of any other things, let us know. Okay, yeah. Especially what is, if you uh, tell me the name first. What's a metal thing, and it's kind of got like a circular convex... Oh, you're talking uh, about Ben Spoon. End. Yeah, there you go. There, Yeah, yeah. Ben Spoon? <laughs> Problem solved. Ben? ben? Yeah. Hey, it's ben me, Spoon. Ben Spoon. Fork you! you... <laughs> Give me what money. What do you call the thing that's made of metal, and it has windows, <laughs> and it has like these like... Wheels like tires, a usually. Truck. Like, what would you store in it? This is a truck. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Win Ben Spoon's money. So, I, I already told this story yesterday when I was playing some Battlegrounds like a man possessed. Mm -hmm. Which, the only reason I did that show was because I knew I was getting sick. And I was like, might as well do something today. Like, get, get something in the can before my voice turns into like Gilbert Gottfried. But <clears throat> we, we were at PAX, right? We hung out with Dan Geasling. Wrong. That man needs to be locked up. Yeah, and please, he's, please. He's, he's out of control. Would be so good. We had, uh, we had dinner and two adult beverages with Dan Giesling uh, on Thursday night. An hour later, we're going into Target. We walk past a homeless person outside of the Target. Oh no! And they they go, I need money. They just kind of like shouted it into their sleeve, and then Dan money. started doing his hyena laugh, <laughs> and she was like. <laughs> That's not very nice, and but he oh. couldn't stop the laugh at that point, and I was oh, like, no. I was like, Dan, that's terrible. But then what was worse is that when we got to the end of the block, we realized there was no door to enter the target on that side, oh. so we had to walk back past her, and then like just kind of like hide our faces when we walked by. I don't know if she noticed that we came back, but I was like, we're gonna- Did she say it funny enough to warn yes. you Yes. Okay. It wasn't just the fact that she said, I need money. She really did okay. go, I need then, money. Then, I, I know right. Dan, that's all he was laughing at. And then Dan, in between his laugh was like, let me know how that sales approach works for you. you know? oh. But he didn't, he didn't say it loud enough that she could hear, I think, but. Did you guys end up giving her any money on the way back? Absolutely not. Wow. Nobody carries cash oh, anymore. But, blood. actually, I will say that about, uh, actually, this is just slightly before that. This lady came up to us and was like, hey, can you help me? And, you know, I, I live in a major city. So I was just like, sorry, I don't have any money. <laughs> Even before she said anything else. And then, uh, maybe that says something about me. But anyway, this is about Dan. So, uh, Dan was like, yeah, what's up? And she's like, well, I just need, like, another dollar so I can get on the bus to go back home. And then he, he's like, okay, and he gave her a dollar. But then he started grilling her, like, oh, yeah, like it, she was in the Battlegrounds with random series. Oh, he's like, oh, no. so what do you do? And she was like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm unemployed right now, but I'm a student. And he's like, okay, so what do you study? And, like, you could see, like, her eyes moving around in her head, like, is this guy for real? Like, <laughs> like, at some point, I actually expected her to just give the dollar back and be like, you know what, dude? 
It's not worth it's it. It's absolutely not worth it under any circumstances. <laughs> So that's why chat was asking me, is it okay to laugh at a homeless person? Yeah, dude. Mm. I, I do not laugh at the homeless. <laughs> Dan laughs at the homeless. I'll be only the first to tell you I don't give him any money. It's not because I'm a jerk, it's just because I'm a nihilist, I think. You know? Well, we go from, like, going from neutral to now sort of a evil thing when we start laughing at homeless well, I was the, I'm laughing at Dan's approach to the story, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I would feel bad because I feel like I would laugh at Dan laughing at the homeless. Exactly. And like yeah, and then you, you, the you guys would be giant assholes. People. Yeah, yeah. I would give that, if I saw you guys walking down the street laughing at that homeless lady, I would go out of my way to give her some money. So really, we were the good guys in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose in a sense, yeah. Maybe. You can look at it that way. And that's that's yeah. about it for for that story. Alright. No, that I don't want to be in the same voice call as Dan for the next two to three weeks, maybe. I think that's <laughs> I, enough time. So, I, the, the Dan Furcon story, I don't know what he's talking about. Because I was with him the whole time. Like, <laughs> almost every waking moment of PAX, I was with him. And all of a sudden, he comes out and he's like, I talked to the administrator of Furcon 2008. And I'm like, I don't know where he's going with this. I you don't <laughs> think he just was on, like, a <clears throat> Skype call? or like he I don't know. Him. I mean, I know who he was talking to. I just don't know if Dan knows who he was talking to. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that makes right. it way worse. So this is he just might be lying by accident? Yeah. That well, would be a good thing. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll tell you another and I don't want to blow up Dan's spot completely here cuz you know what what happens in Seattle stays in Seattle is what everyone right. says. No it but, doesn't. Uh, <laughs> also true, yeah. We I mean we got a show here, right? But uh, so Corey was with us. Corey knows our you know my publicist and my publicist was in Toronto and he ate a lot of potato chips but he's like I don't really like all these that much so Corey was like I'll give you some dill pickle potato chips from Canada and it'll be cool so this is the culmination of that Corey brought the dill pickle chips Dan ate them all we were we were at a bar and and at the bar I was like I don't think you guys should open those and they're uh, David was like Nah, it's cool. Don't even worry about it. And Dan was like, yeah, it's cool. Don't even worry about it. And I'm like, now I'm way more worried than I used <laughs> to be. So they <laughs> they were eating, they ate this whole bag of potato chips at the bar. And um, Canadian brand, bright yellow bag, can't miss it. The server comes over and she's like, hey, I'm sorry guys, but you can't have any outside food in here. And Dan goes, oh, don't worry about it. I just bought it at the bar over there. And then she just looked at him and rolled her eyes and was like, yeah, but like for real, you guys can't have any outside food here. <laughs> You're talking about a full-size bag, not like this. A yeah, not bag like a, a lunch. This was not a Halloween bag. This was a. Uh, this is like a family pack. Oh no, that's fantastic. Dan, Dan went all out. It sounds like. <laughs> Why didn't you guys get you know dinner instead of a giant? We bag did. We ate dinner as well. <laughs> giant bag of chips. Sounds like the family life is maybe getting to him. He can't have what he wants anymore. <laughs> What happened after she called him out and then rolled her eyes? Did he then put them away, or what do you I, do? Honestly, at that point, I think they were almost done. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it was, like, too little too late at that point. They were... Oh, to <laughs> repo them out of my belly at this exactly. point. Exactly. want these guns. It's probably one of those situations. Like, you ever been in a situation with, with someone where you're just like, Hey, could you not do that? And then they kind of give you a negative response, so you're just like, it's not worth continuing this conversation. Yeah, so yeah. Instead of not doing it, we're going all in on doing it now. Okay, yeah. here we go. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so that was uh, Seattle. Sounds like So fun. that's all that happened at PAX, huh? I mean, you played a lot of video games as well. A lot? Any really bad ones? <clears throat> yes. Really? Uh, nice. Without hesitation, I will tell you that I played some really bad ones. Will I tell you what the names are? No. Because I think that's kind of a dick move. But No, I think we understand what game's getting a sequel now. Yeah. I don't get no, it. Is it 400 million possible? Are you talking about No Man's Sky? You're talking about Death Stare. You're talking yeah. about Death Stare. Yeah. I'm sure that was at PAX East. Nah, dude. I, we, we played some cool stuff. I played the yeah. Monster Hunter World. That game is actually going to, like, ruin was people's it lives. It, the life. Absolutely. People are going to lose their whole social lives when that I comes out. I've been waiting really? Monster Hunter forever. I've been like, just come to console or PC and I'll play it. And Dude, yeah, it, done it, feels, it feels fantastic. I also really? played the Dragon Ball Z fighter and was like, Rob is going to love this. Nice. And, right, and probably know. Nick you as well, because it's like, it's an Arc Systems thing. Yay. 
And then a lot of stuff where uh, I was like, this would be really cool for the show, and I'm not even going to ask you if it has online co-op, because I already know the answer. <laughs> right, yeah. I don't, I don't want to put you through that, like, well, we're not really planning on it yet, but if things go well, we might sort of, like, song and dance. That's the exact dance I was just going to mention. Yep. They will do that dance if you ask them. Always. If you want to ask them, they'll, they'll say it. We'll, we're thinking about it, we're not sure. Every time. Did you play any Gungeon stuff? Oh, well. I did play Gungeon, and dude, I think that the update might be transformative. Nice. They have, transformative. Have, have, well, yeah, it's also, it's now about transforming robots. Is, oh, which was a strange okay. choice, well, that, but... That would be why, yeah. Like, like do you... Dead uh, Tooth do? <laughs> dead Tooth is just moldy bread. Except it makes your breath moldy. It's moldy breath. Get out of here. Um, Ooh, shiny pants? What was I going to say? Oh, do you know about turbo mode, Austin? Someone in chat told me about it the, literally like an hour ago. Yeah, it's basically just Gungeon, but everything in the game is 30% faster. Like, you're 30% faster, you shoot 30% faster, Wait. the enemies are 30% faster. That's an Isaac challenge, and you hate it. Yeah, but this <laughs> one is like... I, I kept going like back and forth, like I would turn it on and then turn it off, and I'd be like, why would anyone ever play on the normal speed? You want to spend your whole life doing a Gungeon run? It's crazy talk. So that's how they fi they finally figured out the way to fix the runs and make them shorter, is speed it all up. Just literally points. crank the speed knob. <laughs> that's kind of genius. 30%. Is it like playable at that speed? Yeah, well, I mean, you gotta not be a little bitch. Uh, right, yeah. But but when you get to like any boss, you're just gonna die. I took a no. I, I died on the second floor, but it has been like forever since I played. So, <laughs> yeah. Corey beat it on his first attempt. So, wow. There's there's a chance that you could you could be up there as well. There you go. Yeah, it was cool. Played um, played a lot of good stuff. Played Mother Gunship, which is actually like it seems really really cool. That what looked interesting that? in your tweet. It is the Tower of Guns developer making Ooh. a new Tower of Guns, but th the way that it works is that, like, you collect components as you play as, like, rewards for beating rooms. So the components can be like, hey, this splits your barrel into two, or this splits your barrel into five. Um, or the components could be like, this is a barrel that shoots lasers. This is a barrel that shoots, like, grenades. And then when you get to crafting benches, you can just take all those Lego pieces and assemble, like, a spread laser gun where the under barrel shoots fire and then like on the top of that there's a grenade that just comes out straight up because of the orientation of the the ports on it and stuff like that it was really yeah. opening the whole story was this splits your gun into two <clears throat> this splits your gun into six this splits your gun into four. <laughs> and there are only ways to split your gun <laughs> yeah no you never shoot it's just who can have the <laughs> widest gun it up. <laughs> that actually sounds awesome it was really neat to be honest and I played Dunk Lords again, and Corey is the worst Dunk Lords player in Earth's history, <laughs> bar none. Wow. I Dunk Lord today. It's, Everybody's getting dunked. It's the closest I came to actually being mad over the course of the whole weekend, I think. <laughs> <laughs> is he worse because you, he beat you? Or No, he was on my... We were playing 2v2 against... Uh, uh, Kate to, like, and another an friend of again. ours. No, this is my wife, you weirdo. And uh, <laughs> we got our asses kicked. I was very <laughs> unhappy. Well, in fairness, last time we played Punk, uh, Punk Lords, Dunk Lords at PAX East, we were playing against the five-year-old, and we, you know, we destroyed him. So, yeah, we, we we wrecked him real real good. So we got beaten by a five-year-old at Duck Game. That really hurt me because I thought I was okay at Duck Game. Did, did you? That happen? When yeah. did that happen? Um, it was me and Josh and Fox. I don't think you were there. Oh no. Rip. Um, I guess this floor spawned without an item room? No. Sucks. Wait, no, wait. No, all Maybe the floors have had item rooms so far. I'm an idiot. Never mind. Don't mind me. Oh, he's invisible. <laughs> so what did I I miss like Thursday to to Tuesday? Uh PUBG. Nice, yeah, okay. Sorry, Nick. Map. Super Bowl. Super, oh, Super did, Bowl, did you yeah. go to the Super Bowl, uh, I, we, Robert? We actually got yeah, to the Super Bowl, yeah. We had a we had a Giants esque run. We were a nine and seven team, made it all the way to the Super Bowl, and then got our asses handed to us. So. Who'd you very lose exciting. to? I'm not even a football fan, and he had some pretty cool stuff going on. <laughs> mm -hmm. But who'd you lose yeah. to? We lost to the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's the worst NFC team to lose to. I know, right? 
divisional rivals. Speaking of football, yeah. tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is the start of football. I'm so excited to watch teams that aren't my team. I'm but so excited to watch the Patriots potentially lose. It's like the greatest joy of watching your team win in mm -hmm. reverse. Rob yeah. has a Super Bowl like every week. Why wait all of that time <laughs> he has a just good to point. be disappointed? Mm -hmm. That's part of the reason that I like playing it that way. It's because I get to enjoy the Super Bowl every day. Oh, sorry, chat. Uh, 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 let's talk about anime because football is clearly Oh, yeah, too I started boring. watching Bleach again if you want to yeah. talk about anime. Oh, season two of Little Witch Academia is on Netflix now. Oh, why is everybody talking one? about that game? I don't that know. Show. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's like anime Harry Potter. I recommend it. Mm. Stop describing it like that, because that. Yeah, I know it makes your girlfriend like make you want to watch it. And she I should. know she's so. gonna she's gonna make me watch Little Witch Academia. At least it only has two seasons, dude. Like Nick fuck? said, he just started watching Bleach. The show's been running since like like 1932. Yeah. It might dude. have two billion episodes. It's I like, actually don't know. It's like trying to catch up on 60 Minutes, or like <laughs> The Price Is Right, or something. There's so many minutes. <laughs> Every time I watch 60 Minutes, there's been 60 more minutes. <laughs> 60 more minutes? 60 more minutes. More minutes. 60 it's. more minutes, yeah. yeah. Isn't there actually... Yeah. I'm not even joking with you. There is a 60 minutes too, isn't there? No. I swear, I thought there was what like... I, it's, called, it's called 62 minutes. No, I'm being real. I'm being real with you. I thought there was a 60 minutes too that airs on like Sunday or something. What? Like What is two? Like it's the second show of 60 minutes. You mean a rerun? No, I'm telling like it's another show, but a spin-off. Right? So, 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 so instead of just tripping over yourselves to tell me I'm wrong, go Google <laughs> 60 minutes 2 and the 2 is a Roman numeral and then tell me what you see. Oh, welcome to my world, right? It's an odd sequel is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm with you, that's why I brought it up. It's very strange. That is pretty weird. Yeah. I'm not talking about 120 minutes. I did <laughs> Is that what I said? No, 60 minutes squared is way more than 120. <laughs> That's true. That's 60 times 60. Right. That's crazy. I don't think know. anyone here can do the math on Fuck, that, he's so right. It. Is, what's it? Just like 3,600, right? Something like that. <laughs> did I did I do the thing where everyone's like, that thing's easy, but no one's going to say it? And then I was yeah. like, Ac <laughs> actually, <laughs> it's just 6 times 6 with a few zeros on the end. Pretty much. He's yeah. right. Dude, I told you there's a 60 minutes too. What's it called? 60 minutes too. Are you fucking kidding me? They really called it 60 Minutes 2? It only airs... It only <laughs> aired until 2005, apparently, but... Ah. Stupid idea for a show. Yeah, uh, was dumb. Who would have thought that the, uh, the short rise in popularity of 60 Minutes <laughs> didn't warrant a, a complete sequel or a spin-off show? What do you even call that? Because it's not really a 60 sequel. Minutes really 2? What kind of show is it, though? I want to... I, I, I have a question for you. Mm. Okay. What times are the news on? All the time? What? What times are the news on? Think about what it. did? Eleven o'clock. Okay. Ten o'clock. Nine o'clock. Eight o'clock. That's all the uh, news. Weather on the ones. Weather on the eight. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Twenty-four hour news cycle, actually. Yeah, okay. it's it's literally all the time. Because I've always like when I grew up. The news was on at 5, 6, 9, and 11. Mm. And I always thought that was kind of a weird distribution of times. It's like Did 5 is like the, the matinee. Like they try out the news to see what's going to work on the primetime show. Did you guys not have uh, 1010 wins? What is, get, were, uh... what is 1010 wins? It was like, uh, it was like news at like 10 p.m. I think. And then... They would start off every broadcast with like, with like, just like this ominous message of, "It's 10 p.m. Do, Do you know, know where your children are?" Oh, it's <laughs> just like, well, well, I mean, yeah, hopefully, it's still in my nut sacks. Hell yeah, <laughs> they're yeah, all like, made of infected implying... cum right now. <laughs> oh, no. What are you implying, 1010 wins? What are you gonna do to my children? <laughs> I don't know if that show's still on. Speaking of TV, mm. uh -huh. we're about to get that Netflix. Netflix. Oh, we're Netflix. about to get that Netflix. 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 Get that Netflix. Wait, what Straight do you mean, though? Two and Black Mirror season four. 
Oh, coming out this dude! Month. It's okay. coming out this year. I don't. I don't oh, mean to, to PAX you guys. There was a Black Mirror game at PAX. What? Really? Yeah, and it's not about Black Mirror. It's an adventure game that's getting a sequel that already exists. See, I it, I didn't play it, but I kind of had that vibe when I walked by. I was like, you just slapped the name on this thing. <laughs> it actually existed before the show. Wait, really? Was it called Black Mirror before like the show? I believe so, yeah. That's weird. I also like I, super lucky for Let me look up them. the dates before I misquote myself and make myself seem like an asshole. Because Black Mirror's been around for a while now. Black actually. Mirror... When did the TV show start? It started running in 2011. Whoa. Yeah. That's not actually that old. Uh, game. Yeah, well, for a show with like three seasons, it's... Yeah. I think it's even on Steam, actually. Three, four episode season. Yeah, Released exactly. Like, what are you doing with yourself? So it predated it by a lot of years, actually. Mm. Oh, wow. That's weird. So that... But yeah, anyway, they're giving it a sequel now. And everybody's going to go, oh, is this about the TV show? Oh. Maybe that's why they're giving it a sequel after, you know, 15 years. I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> and that's well, it. Well... That's a shame. They should make a Telltale Black Mirror game. I'd play it. The Telltale should stop no. making Telltale games. And Telltale make something else. Stop making it. <laughs> yeah. You're probably right. Make yeah, something Telltale else. Telltale sequel to Isaac. <laughs> Tell, oh, did you guys Telltale about... should tell a tale that isn't someone else's. Whoa! Well, Holy they sort of did shit. for a while, right? Like, that, like, yeah. dog and dog and ferret detective? Uh, uh, Sam and Max? Excuse me. Uh, no, no, th there was even another one, wasn't there? The It was like a fairy tale show game. You talking about, um, you're talking you cut about the, the head off of that tiger or something? The Wolf Among Us. Yeah, yeah that's Wolf. Based on a comic that's based on a comic book. Oh, yeah. god damn it. I thought it was theirs. No. Actually, oh, it, it. it wasn't based on the comic book. It was just, it happened to share the same name as a comic book, so they just rolled with it, Black Mirror style. Right, right, like The Walking Dead. Where's this fucking item room, dude? I'm looking for You guys so having long. problems on this run? It's uh, amnesia pill. I just can't see. Use your purity rune. You'll be fine. No, it doesn't Push work. I used it and it didn't make anything visible. Oh. I hate purple ball man. Purple ball What's man. Rag man. Rag Ma 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 Raw mega. In. Raw. Yeah. Ramaga. Ramadan. 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 Did you guys have a good robber, uh, Ramadan? Ramadan? Ramadan. Ramadan. Dude, dude, dude. Yeah. Ramadan. <laughs> yeah. Let's celebrate Robs in our life on Ramadan. <laughs> I think you're the only That's Robert I know personally, Robert. Really? Yeah, me too. Yeah. Not me. I, I don't know, know anybody, Robert. so it's fine. Uh, there's actually a couple of Roberts in my family, funnily enough. That's why you like to be called Bob. Including yourself yeah. or not including yourself? Uh, including myself. So there's one there's Robert only, in your family. There's, well, well, I said a couple. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you, mean you don't like, know yourself? But a couple is two. A couple is two, yeah. I, I, I okay, I Three's suppose company. I should say a few. There are a few Roberts. Oh, that's two Roberts. He's got no, two Roberts. No, that's more than three. two Roberts. No, he knows yourself. Two is three. A few is three. Or the minus five. one is him. <laughs> what is this Christmas present? Yeah, you use it to store the D6 and then take it out at a later date. No, that's moving box. Oh, I did both. Oh, I, it just gave me an item. Correct. Yeah, that's Why it gave me a nightlight. I don't want the nightlight. I'm going to reroll it. A few is not less than a couple. No, no, no. Okay, Chad, you've... A few is more than a couple. This is... A we've is just three. started the ridiculous conversation for today that is going <laughs> to drive people crazy. A few is definitely more than a couple. A few, a few cannot three. mean two, in my opinion. A few means three. I'm pretty. Who is like, the lunatic that just said a few is one to three? How could a few one? Be one? A few is three. <laughs> a few is one. Hey, can oh, I get a few candies here. there? I'd be. <laughs> <laughs> can I get a few candy there? <laughs> a couple is always two. Yes. A couple is two. Yes. Literally the meaning of the word. Yeah. And then just a, like, a few is three. A few is three or more. Yeah. But Wait. a couple can be vague sometimes. I didn't sometimes. even thought it was. I didn't even think it was. It's, it was. It's not or more. It's just three. No, it was no, three. no. It's it's three to five. I I, 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 I sort of three. agree with that. Someone six look is it up, more like, than a few. Six is a half definition. dozen. All right, I'll look it up. Look it up. A yeah, few. I need to know. How many are what, several? <laughs> that's like. That, that's that's oh, like a six no. to ten, I think. Well, many people would agree that a few means three or more. The actual dic dictionary definition of a few is not many, 
but more than one. What? Wow! No. Insanity. Don't oh, I, unsubscribe. It unsubscribe. It could be two then. I'm out on this English word. Thing. That's bullshit. Yeah. Get out. Get out. I call nonsense on no, that. No, this is one of those situations where bullshit. language has changed. Yeah. Like faster than the dictionary. This is also one of those situations where, like, you know how the gift maker calls it a jiff because it's right, a yeah. jiffy? He's wrong. He's, it's, he's, he's wrong. Yeah. He has no right to say. Because you make something doesn't give you permanent ownership of what it. Is you this? own your children. <laughs> what is this King Baby doing? He's just like, and he doesn't do anything. King Baby, he follows you around, and I think, like, when you shoot, he stops, so your other babies, like, stay where he is. Oh, that's stupid. That's a bad idea. Dude, here's the problem that Isaac has right now, is that they keep doing these booster packs, but nobody ever makes boring items that are essential for game balance. Nobody's like, hey, check out my mod. I made another HP upgrade. So instead, it's always like, hey, I made all this weird shit that's super cool. But at the same time, when every item ends up being super cool, you're like, awesome. I got all this weird shit, but I got no stats. You really mm. need another HP upgrade. I think you got enough breakfast. But now the, the problem is like the item is getting, <laughs> there's more items. So it's less likely to get the HP yeah, upgrades no. that already exist. Dude, stop talking about Isaac. Talk about anime. Sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. It's real weird, but they got this pill, right? And it's made of a modified soul. They fed it to so, a little tiger boy. Wait, and now wait hold, hold up, hold up. What? what? I'm pretty ill, but <laughs> what did you say it's made of? It's a little pill. It's a modified soul. Soul Society Mod modified souls for combat. Oh, right? it's an anime. And then the little <laughs> tiger you boy ate it. <laughs> I thought you were talking about some kind of... You know, fake news like they invented a, a cure for something, you know? Yeah, no, Fox News invented souls that you can eat. <laughs> yeah, I thought, uh, doesn't Alex Jones sell that on his show? Have, yes. Have heard? Yeah. Good. You just raised his profits by 100%, Rob. Nice. Yeah, yeah right, yeah. <laughs> when we were in Seattle, I saw a, um, there was a sticker wrapped around a, a signpost, and it was like, the schematic blueprint of a Boeing 737, and then the blueprint for like one of the twin towers, and it was just oh my like, God. the do the math. The plane doesn't fit, oh. and then I was like, oh, Jesus, Ooh. my God, they finally figured it out. <laughs> Irrefutable <laughs> proof. <laughs> Nobody oh. thought to check the the blueprints to see if the plane could even fit. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know it crashed into the tower, right? Nick, it doesn't fit. <laughs> oh. You know what would be a it fun Alex Jones game? Gotcha. You, you get to talk with Alex Jones about politics. Uh, right. and you have to talk with him for like 30 minutes, and if he turns red at any point, you lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. I'm into it. Can Dude, it be if he turns red at any point, you win? I'd like that. Part. No, that's too easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what if he is red when you start? I don't necessarily want to legitimize this idea, <laughs> but I think it would be awesome to have him on the show and not talk politics and just try to drag him into the mundane minutiae that we get angry about on a daily <laughs> basis. <laughs> what do you mean? A few is three! <laughs> <laughs> that nearly killed me. Alex Jones did? Just making no, that noise. Oh, the impression. So, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. So, yes. <laughs> Oh, man. Just think of it, Ryan. It's only the first day. Dude! Wait, the first day of what? Being sick. I was being rude. No, life. I was sick yesterday, but I was, like, trying to trick people in the hopes that I just wasn't. Oh, so, you're trying to trick yourself. Yeah, people were like, how do you feel? I'm like, oh, I don't know. I woke up and my throat felt like garbage, and I was like, well, it must be those wildfires here in <laughs> in Washington State. Turns out, If you not don't the look case. the disease directly in the eye, you can't get sick. Is that true? No. Diseases don't have eyes. Correct. They have ears. They do have ears, yeah, that's true. <clears throat> is that the Final <laughs> Fantasy bit? Yeah. I kind of thought so as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. So Kate's been watching that Daddy of Light show. Daddy of Light? Yeah, that's a hell of a title, right? Fuck is yeah. that? I actually it's... tweeded a picture of that when I, I saw I it on saw Netflix. That. Couldn't what? believe it was real. Um, it's called Dad of Light in North Correct. America, by the yeah. way. It's Daddy of Light in Japan. Oh, that's hilarious. So in case any of you didn't recognize what show we were talking about, there's both names. Okay. 
It's about a man who bonds with his son through Final Fantasy XIV. Correct. Oh. It's actually, like, fine, I Seems, like, extremely wholesome. Yeah, that sounds relatively wholesome. Like, that sounds like a... Really, really weird name, that's all. Yeah. Why is he the daddy of life? I... He's probably, like, someone with spells, I guess. I... Honestly, beats me. Like, he could be, like, a white mage or something. Maybe he's got, like, light holy spells. The okay. son is catfishing the dad in the show. Oh, that is actually, like, what? not wholesome at all. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't really even make any sense. Uh, dude, does that work? I mean, well, if the dad was trying to bang the son, I guess. Okay, let's... Is the dad trying to bang the son? We're going, like, slightly too far. <laughs> well, I mean, the, what, how do you catfish a person in a non romantic context. Does catfishing ever have an up? end point for the catfish, or are they just like living the dream? You I get feel like there like, is no input. You get like some sweet loot in-game, right? Mm. You go, oh my god, you got that godly plate of the whale. I could never get that, and then they go, well, why don't you just take it? And then you're like, sucker. <laughs> I got you. Oh, they mean for gear. Yeah, oh, yeah, sure. yeah. <clears throat> oh. I couldn't get past the sex part. Yeah, there it yeah, is. Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah, that makes more sense. Well, in fairness, it only has one traditional connotation most of the time. Wait, is the dad actually the son's twink? Sorry, what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> let's let's take this way the fuck back now. <laughs> no, it's an MMO term. It's when you make oh! a second character. Right. What, right. what the hell were you thinking? <laughs> Jesus. Hold still, mini me. It's just a little prick. <laughs> You guys have dirty minds. <laughs> My goodness. That was pretty disgusting, though. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty gross. <laughs> the one who said it. <laughs> that wasn't the way. He did that's it. called an alt. That's not what a twink is. Well, no, a twink would be a uh, a low level character that you um you used to gank. You played a, <laughs> yeah, used to gank. Yeah. Okay. So what I said is entirely valid. You just took it in entirely the wrong direction. <laughs> I mean, isn't that the point of the show? Yeah, no. you got a point there. <laughs> Hostess there. makes them. No, that's hot, hot lemon relief. So basically, <laughs> what we found out is Daddy of Life is a really weird show. Yeah, um, I I thought it was one hundred percent wholesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Turns out it's one hundred percent. Full that's of why holes. the name was changed. <laughs> yeah, there's some like weird Valid. underground nice. sex things going on with Final Fantasy, and that's where the fantasy comes from in the final. Oh, oh my god! And it's is his... it the last fantasy before he dies? Does he yeah. kill him at the end? Well, you'd probably stop having fantasies if it turned out your son was your twink. Well, all right, yeah, that's a fair point. <laughs> Are we allowed to say that word? By the way, is that is that one of those ones that's not okay for us? <laughs> It's just an MMO word. It is an MMO word. It's not just one. You can't say that <laughs> sentence. That's all I meant. Right, but... <laughs> I feel well, like you probably aren't allowed to say it. Okay, well... Uh, no, that's... I don't think there's any negative connotation to it. Can I not say yeah. power bottom either? Um, why would you not you talk about to? that all the time? We do talk about that quite frequently. Hey, I'm Guppy. Nice. I wanted to be Guppy. It didn't work out for me. It was a pretty good run, honestly. Yeah, I'm pretty fucking hardcore beast mode right now. Yeah, I'm beefing it up right now. Mm -hmm. This is my beef jack. Chad, the things you're saying right now make me very unhappy. <laughs> what are they saying? I'll come for that twink boy pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty weird. <laughs> that's real bad. <laughs> I think they're just talking about MMOs. <laughs> I'm not sure boy pussy uh, is an MMO term. <laughs> I don't, don't know. I haven't played a lot of them in a lot of a long time. It's like it's a really rare item that you get when you're low level. <laughs> <clears throat> Can I? Uh, I want to tell you guys about uh, an act of corporate espionage I committed this weekend. Sure, yeah, anything to get out of this conversation. Yeah. So like. <laughs> If you've never been to a, any of these conventions, like, you don't know, but if you're a partner on Twitch, you're basically a god. Like, mm -hmm. the people just, like, bow down at your feet and they oh, please, can I get you some more gold, sir? And it's like, so... What, gold? <laughs> I like question gold. Gold? <laughs> gold? Um, so I went over to the Twitch booth and I was like, hey, 
I don't know how this works, but like I'm a partner on Twitch, and then I gave them my name, and they gave me this wristband, and I got to go back into the sweet partner lounge. But first, I was like, hey, like my friend here, he's an affiliate. Would it be okay if he comes in as well? And they were like, that's not okay. Not okay. Wow. So yeah. I was like, whoa, that's kind of a bummer. So I walked in. I, I got, know that. I got it's two cups of coffee. And I took one out and gave it to him right in front of the desk. <laughs> one time when I was waiting to get into the like VIP area, which is just a shitty little fenced in nothing area. Pardon me? It was actually the greatest. <laughs> it was nothing. It's the greatest um, place of all time. They they said it's fine, you can go in, but you've gotta wait because there's too many people. Yeah. And I just had to stand there while like eat my diction just sat on a couch. <laughs> <laughs> this is like you're naming and shaming. Dude, that's what that's what that lounge is there for, though, is to sit on the couch. Yeah, yeah. Well, I I, so. it, what I mean by that is ultimately I came to the conclusion that I had no business there anyway. So why mm, am I waiting? And I see. I, I know that's that's why I want to I want to know how that story goes if I walk up and say, "Hey, I'm a Twitch partner. Can I go to the partner lounge?" I'm gonna I'm gonna say Dallas Donuts. I ain't going to no partner lounge. Dude, I think they, I literally think they just have a list of Twitch partners and they go, that name yeah, that you said do. is on the list, so come on in. Mm. I don't think I'm on that list. And, and to be fair, Richard Hammer was also standing with me, waiting in mm, the same spot that okay. I was. It wasn't like it was against me or anything. Right, yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. I didn't look. Well, you know, he was using that later. <laughs> I, uh... It's a very strange culmination of that story. I got socks in the Twitch Partner Lounge. Wow! What a, what a strange coincidence. Were they From new? Richard Hammer? No, I met a staff member who uh, watches the show but does not talk because then they would... It's like, oh, the Twitch police are here, right? So, uh, yeah. And she was like, hey, do you want these socks? And I was like, yeah. So I got some Vermintide socks. Sick? Never That's even weird. Never even played the game. <laughs> Why does Vermintide have socks? I don't know, dude. But they don't anymore. They got one less pair now. <laughs> I mean, if you had the option to have socks, you would you'd take it, right? No, I did. I didn't take it. I actually got pitched to have socks about my channel, and I didn't take it. Really? Yeah. Well, there you go. I was pretty cheese though, cause like, I went to the partner lounge on the last day, and like uh -huh. they didn't have any anything left. Like no no patisseries or anything like that, and I like oh at least they have coffee and I ate, they ate the coffee and it was all burned. No. Uh, uh, hey yeah. Susan, what happened to your coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Got burned. <laughs> Spent Got too much burned. time in the carafe. <laughs> <laughs> so now you have Vermintide socks. Can we play Vermintide on the show? Dude, I think I'm like obligated to to play it on the right? show now. Otherwise, it's like you know ethically not fun. okay. I'm down for one game of it ever. <laughs> That's fair. Look, Chad, I know I said ate the coffee, all right? I don't <laughs> feel like that good right now. What's the black bag thing do for you again? Uh, black the powder. Devil. Black sack. If you make a circle on the ground when you walk and you complete it, it puts like a creep on the ground that hurts enemies. That sounds stupid. I'm taking the red guy. It's not Actually, that bad. Not bad. If you got speed that's like up there, it's not bad. You gotta keep your AP up, APM up anyways. Absolutely you might as well true. walk in circles. Right, yeah, fair point. Yeah, I do like to keep my API. APM up in uh, Isaac. Um, I went into the void by accident. Oh, dude, congratulations. I want to. <laughs> I think you can probably win. You know, I'm guppy, Ryan, so yeah. What we played while you were gone? Super he action, actually double actually action, boogaloo. Uh, actually, we did play that. Yeah. Yeah, that I was, know. That's that's pretty fun. What yeah, else? You played a, you played a bunch of StarCraft. We played a bunch of StarCraft. Yeah. We yeah. Played StarCraft too. We found <laughs> a badass dodgeball game within StarCraft Arcade, and nice. I want to play it again because it's actually great. Was it fun? Yeah. Great jump scares. Yeah, and it's also completely time. free. You don't have to buy StarCraft either. Yep. Which is uh, good because I don't really I don't support that business model of coming out with a genre defining game <laughs> twenty years ago and then expecting any compensation for well, it. What I mean is, if you want to play the dodgeball game, you don't have to buy StarCraft. All right, it's actually yes, free. Yeah. Oh, I fell into a hole. My speed is too small. 
too small. I forgot they have jump scares in this game now. <laughs> My cat's really scared. <laughs> Oh, it's like just the one, isn't it? <laughs> the screen got all shaky the and static, world static world. and I was like, oh no. I thought for a minute when that was all new that that was another ARG and I got really excited. Uh, yeah. No. Oh, are you are you fighting the void right now? Or delirium? Yeah. Sorry. No, not delirium. The okay. void itself. The void delirium. delirium. Also known as creativity. <laughs> Don't hug me, I'm scared. Yeah, there you go. Pretty strong run, gotta say. Gotta say. Not yeah, allowed to win not say. You guys ever think, like, yep. being a little sick is actually kind of fun? Hear me out. No, it's not even remotely. Take care of you. No, 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 not really nope. so much for that. But first off, <laughs> great excuse to eat soup. Yeah. Austin would hate it. I'm, you haven't sold me yet. Okay. Um, hot liquids, man. Love them. Hot liquids. Mm -hmm. Hot lemon relief. Secondly, <laughs> um, though, actually, because you get sick cum, so you can't do that. Correct. That's yeah. That's not so good. Yeah, lack of lack of blowjob cum. You could, you could uh, take the day off of school or work and feel justified. Oh, watch Price is Right and fall True. asleep. Exactly. True. Unless it's college, in which case you're still going to that fucking. You're class. punishing yourself because yeah. you paid a lot of money. Mm-hmm. You think you got it backwards, dude? Why? I don't know, man. When I got five hundred dollars on the line, I'm going to every goddamn class I can. I don't know about that. You That's got like five hundred dollars on the line, because it sounds like you <laughs> don't. <laughs> when you have five hundred dollars on the line, never go against. What the, is this like? A game of death. Fast and the Furious or something? I don't understand. I'm not sure he's got five hundred dollars. <laughs> I don't think he got five hundred. Oh, I forgot that no here, no right? college students ever skip class ever. Like we've. <laughs> Revolutionize the game here. No, that's because they were on mommy and daddy's payroll. When they got five hundred dollars on the line. Oh, themselves. I see. Exactly. You don't get off work for being a little sick. You do if you live in a country that cares about workers' rights. <laughs> yeah, which ones are those? <laughs> I don't know. Probably like Sweden. Heyo. <laughs> yeah, Sweden probably. Where my Swedes at? <laughs> what you do in Sweden? Can we get a Swede check in chat, please? Respecting <laughs> workers. Look at that. <laughs> Sweet check, please. <laughs> Respecting <and> coworkers. <laughs> Cursed eye rerolled to Curse of the Tower. Fuck that. Yeah. I like that. I like uh, Swedish Susan. Swedish Susan. Yeah. I'm into her too. Uh, what you doing, Susan? Speed the Valley Dota. <laughs> Sorry, what? Yeah, I didn't really hear what you said there. Playing it's the, the Dota song. Spida Halivanta. Ah, Spida Halivanta Dota. Yeah. I don't know Swede, I so I just... Do, 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 do. Isn't that that song? No, the that Venga is Bus is coming. New York to yeah. California. I'd like to play the Dota. The Venga Boys are coming. They want to... <laughs> Something. You ever notice, like, in that song? They go like New York to San Francisco. I'd hate to sing to disco. What the fuck yeah. are the Venga Boys then? They're they're racist. It's just Euro pop disco, right? Mm -hmm. I think they mean like the old school disco, though. Yeah, you know, like, like the Bee Gees. You know, Saturday Night uh, Saturday Night Fever, well, not Saturday. Night. Be caught me. dead. That was a really yeah. good. It's an intercity disco. Ah, ah, an intercity disco. And what do? That's way too what European for me. Still, What's what the heck is an intercity? Disco? Disco? They need is that like the city? subway, the whole subway station becomes disco? Disco. Everybody's dancing. I know that much. That's true. I don't the know where boys are dancing, coming. Exactly. It means that it's in city to city. What does that mean? It's in city to city. Yeah, that didn't make any sense. Oh, 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 oh. So it's like there's a disco. There's like a huge party and it's across multiple cities. I don't know how that still counts as a as Is that not party, a riot? I guess. Yeah, <laughs> you would think. It's a revolution at that point, yeah. <laughs> like the dance. Van Halen song. Like the this was really close to riots in different scale. Dancing in the streets. That's a good I mean, song. It's uh, a good song. Vancouver had a really good party after the Canucks lost the, the Stanley <laughs> Cup a couple years ago. Hey, that was just a big old disco. <laughs> yeah, a big disco. Haha. <laughs> 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 I mean, I'll just tell you straight up, like, that's stupid. That's the mark of great civic shame. If you're at the yeah. point where you're, like, breaking windows over a fucking hockey game, you gotta get get your shit sorted out. 
What's Maybe with the Philly other? Gotta get your shit sorted out. Maybe they're the only Patriots here. No. What I want to know is like, what's the deal with that one hockey team where they throw <laughs> raw squids on the? Oh, it's the, the it's Detroit. They throw octopus on the. Why do they ice. do that? You know, it's, it's like wasteful. a tradition. What do they do with those octopus afterwards? I'm sure they throw them in the trash. Like, that's terrible. Ryan, don't you think out of all the animals, octopus are the most likely to have psychic powers? Yeah, there is something about that, isn't there? <laughs> oh Jesus! They got like out a of weird. All the animals, can you come up with a better one than that? Uh, not... Owls, maybe. I want to. I want to say. Oh, owls! Yeah, like Noctowl. He does. Owls have, are like, pretty a... good too. Yeah. How about like dolphins does. though? I don't dolphins, see though? dolphins. I don't that see. Way. I don't see dolphins in that light. They're not no. mystical enough. Octopus, sure. Owls, sure. I don't know. Dolphins are kind of. Kind of the fuck about social. octopus is so mystical. I, it's got I a big want, head and tentacles. eight arms. I just want to put it out there that this is not the way you phrased the question initially. They're all about the control. Big <laughs> the original, head, eight arms. They, the original... think, they grab. They think they grab. I feel like <laughs> you're just like, because of Cthulhu, you're you're thinking that all squid are what? psychic. Okay, wait, wait. Oh. I, I do also have to bring up. Are you perpetuating uh, Cthulhu right now? This is a, <laughs> it's a, another remarkable coincidence. The Twitch party uh -huh. was at the Seattle Aquarium. Like the whole aquarium. And it was dope. Wow. And at 8.30 p.m., like, there were aquarium staff there. At 8.30 p.m., they did a live octopus feeding of the Great Pacific oh Octopus. God. It's That's like, horrifying. it's one of the largest octopodes, I guess, that is they know exists. And they fed it some sweet-ass, like, filet of sole. <laughs> it was they the coolest shit. <laughs> Just like bleach. <laughs> right, yeah. It was the coolest shit I've ever seen. But then, like, two seconds later, I realized they had free pretzels, and I walked away. Because I was like, it's kind of hard to get a view, and I was like, those pretzels are unattended. Did they have coconut shrimp at no, the aquarium? No, they, they had pretzels. That's bullshit. It would have been a little weird, right, to serve seafood at the... Well, on one hand, yeah. On the other hand, couldn't be fresher. Mm. Just saying. You think they were killing the things in the aquarium? <laughs> they gotta. Right? They feed I mean, them to stuff, right? right? They gotta be well fed too, right? And it's kind of weird, like well taken care of, free range. I never really thought of it. That is not free range, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Being in a cage in a building for people to look at. I was well, just saying rangy. words, really, is all that was. But like, <laughs> they're like at the aquarium. They're feeding fish to octopus. You go in the other room. The fish are just hanging out there, right? They're like, hey, this they is the no you know the rockfish from the Amazon, you know, river. Don't you, ever, tell them. you guys ever see a cuttlefish? Those yes. Are cool They're mm -hmm. weird. You see them up close when they do the color change thing? It's all no, weird. Yeah, no doubt about that. It's funky. It's actually a lot of octopus that do similar things as well. Mm, they're psychic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and again, I want to mention how you brought this up originally is we were talking about sea creatures, and then you just came out of nowhere with, aren't octopus the most likely to have psychic powers? Why is that any different from what I just said? Mm, it's a leading question. <laughs> it is a leading question. And we're it's like, like as if there's some sort of cares? research, as if there's mm. some sort of research that brings it up. Really, we're also I qualified to say that because Bear Taffy had jury duty today. So, yeah. did he actually end up going? No. Well, I mean, he, he went, so he didn't go to jail. But I guess he got dismissed. <laughs> ah, okay. Maybe he told them about the 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 thing. The thing. Rob. The The what? There's a thing you can say to once chat knows it, they can't ever unknow it, and if they ever want jury duty, they can't know this thing. Oh, you know? really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, you can't tell them right now. No, you gotta good. tell us right now. <laughs> that make make five thousand people ineligible for jury duty. It Dude. seems wrong. Like if we do this enough, no one will be left. Dude, tell me. I need to know. <laughs> You're from Canada. It doesn't affect you, so you actually can know. That's what I well, want to know. Yeah. Chat's also spamming it now too, so. <laughs> there you go, chat. Enjoy. Now Robert, you know. Robert, tell rude. Mm -hmm. What is it? Jury Just nullification is. Uh... You don't know. We well, would uh, no jury. <laughs> Robert <laughs> always <laughs> wanted to do jury <laughs> duty. <laughs> chat. So jury nullification <laughs> is basically um, there's actually three options to the end of a court case. It's not guilty or not guilty as you're typically led to believe. There's also the option of the jury believing oh, the person is I guilty. I hate the way you parse that sentence. It's oh. not guilty or not guilty as. <laughs> yeah. Well, those are those are the traditional two options that people think of as guilty. It's not, or not guilty, guilty or not guilty. 
<laughs> okay, oh, I see go what ahead, you're saying. Ahead, yeah, ahead. I see what you're saying. Anyway, so uh, jury nullification is when <laughs> the jury decides that the person is guilty, yet they still don't want to punish him for it. So they oh. nullify Yeah. So that's that's a third option that is available to you, but if you know about it, it affects uh, the outcome of most cases, which is why they don't like having people. Um, you ever seen Twelve Angry Men? No. It's, uh, <laughs> it's the alternate name for uh, Player Unknown's Battleground series. <laughs> there you go. Did you, Austin? You saw the comment that Mouth made on my that, video. Uh, what a segue. Here, get ready. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Where is it? I had I had placed it here earlier, but now it's gone. It's just like this like 500 word passive aggressive comment where he like like gets ahead of any criticism that was directed at him and then like turns it around on this total straw man. Wait, who did? There this? it is. This is a, a comment that Mouth made on my video about himself. <laughs> Good grief, Mouth is brain dead. When Austin asked earlier if there was a boat, and he said there was, Malf shouldn't have assumed that was the one they intended to drive to. It's completely unreasonable that there was a second boat Malf didn't see because he wasn't looking for something he already found. <laughs> so did he end up destroying himself in that in straw man situation? Uh, well, I mean... <laughs> I don't know how to answer that question. Mostly because I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm like 30 IQ points below where I would like to be right now, but... <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's good. Commenters, that, that's, man. Can't that's live that's with that. him, can't live without him. He's becoming his own angry commenters. He is, yeah. Point, wasn't it? You can't just, he's getting out ahead of it, you know? You can't just comment in there and be like, hey, thanks for the support. You gotta get in there, like, knuckle deep on both hands. I mean, if he's in there minute one having the main thing that people are gonna criticize him about, and that's the most upvoted comment, then... How is anybody else going to criticize him about it? You know what I'm saying? You know, that's valid. I just think it's well, actually. I just well, think it's chess. not fair. Like I could go over to his comments when his video goes uploaded or, or gets uploaded and just write like vagina, and then it'll become number one because it'll get like all these thumbs and you know replies. It'll you can't See, stop it from being the top is, comment. This is the mutual <laughs> respect we have to trade off with each other. <laughs> now someone's going to write vagina on your videos, you know. Probably the top comment for this one could be Vagina. Uh, I finished my Isaac run, so I'm good to go. Me right. too. I'm on Zewoom. <laughs> Zewoom. Uh, this is the first. <laughs> Get it? I remember that one. I yeah, think, those uh, are the days. Delirium. Ooh, wow. Delirium. I did it. Mama Mia, let me go. Beelzebub has a devil for a son for me. Have I should you guys know what the actual seen how is. Justin is the most unlucky man on planet Earth? Yeah, he moved into the center of a hurricane, right? Yeah. Oh my god, moved really? Moved to Florida like a week ago. Yeah. <laughs> That's really bad. I also saw his tweet where, like, it's not funny, but if he survives, it's kind of funny. That, like, the movers came yesterday, so literally he could not evacuate. Oh no, the movers are coming like the day before the hurricane is supposed to hit. Yeah. So he you can't like that leave. If he survives? Well, I mean, it's not going to be really funny if he doesn't survive. It'll be a very tragic, you know, yeah. kind of yeah, omen, won't tragic. it? That's where I'm going with that. People will go back and look at that tweet and be like, my dude should have left. Did you see the tweet where he moved into a new place and there was a DVD left in the DVD player? Oh, no. I feel like I'm stealing his story, but. He, he turned on the DVD player because his, his grandmother and mother wanted to watch something. Uh, and the other but, resident... Hold up. He, like... How is there he, a DVD player... He was player? turning it on to, to put a DVD in it. But how was there a DVD player, like, in the... In the house? They, they left it there. Oh. It was but, haunted. And you but just... It was a haunted DVD player. You're yeah. like, look... I'm, buy, agree, I look, wait, I'm with wait, you. Wait, Maybe wait. it wasn't the smartest player in the world. No, but I just, but, like, you, you, you buy a house and they're like, oh, the last people left their DVD player here. Yeah, so they were going to pop a DVD in, but it already had a DVD in it. Was it their porn? It was porn. Oh! <laughs> and it started playing halfway in. So that house Which was owned by like... Where, where that person watching. came when they finished watching it. That house Pretty was much. owned by like someone in their 70s then. Nice. It was an old dude, apparently. Nice. That's why I already forgot about it. You should give it back to him. Dude, that is... That's weird. Yeah. It's like... He tweeted a picture him. of the disc too, so if you want to see. Find the new find the where he lives, 
walk to the house, hand it yeah. to him. You can yeah. see the ghost of where he came. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you went back 30 seconds from when that started on second playing. Yep. Phantom come. It's like when you're reading something on Kindle and it's like 100 people have highlighted this passage. Except it's like, you know, 100 people have come buckets to this they, passage. They have hot spots on Pornhub, actually. They have hot spots? Yeah, where people tend to click the thing the most often. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Wolski! I don't get it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right. No, there's somebody in my chat named Wolski whose birthday it is. That's no, oh, okay, oh, I happy get birthday, it. Wolski. I'm almost done here. I'm almost done here. Hashtag charity. <laughs> What's that at tea kettle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. They also, yeah, they do have share buttons on porn videos now. I don't know. I why, don't get it. That would be the is worst it, thing to who, accidentally click. Whose family, just, like whose world, do you live in that they want to know who, we, what you're watching? It's a booby trap, right? It's got to be. It's a booby trap. It's, I think the government there. makes it's them put boobies it there. trap. <laughs> <laughs> you should just start, like, just start sharing the videos. Right. Yeah. That if would you be did really it, interesting to see what would happen to his Twitter feed if he yeah. just tweeted like seven or eight points. It's a social across. experiment. And <laughs> definitely like do not put any of your own data into the tweet. Just do whatever like the, the pre-made one is like. Hey, I've watched this awesome porn on Pornhub.com. <laughs> Check it out here. Would you gain or lose followers? You know, we'll see. You probably gain uh, the wrong kind is my well. guess. It depends. Maybe, yep, Maybe somebody's get... doing a pivot on their career, you know? Gain a lot of uh, push me onto a dick. Don't be shy. Yeah. <laughs> my Discord, this is not me, but my Discord has a room specifically for sharing porn. I don't think yeah, it a lot of Discords do. Really? Yeah, yeah my I... Discord one on one and I told him no. So you're going to like pop yeah. in there with a picture and be like, oh, this picture is really good. It made me come so hard. <laughs> Basically. It's yeah, a little I strange, I think. Yeah. That's that's also why I do not have one in my Discord either. I, I didn't know it was a thing that, that was like you guys had to people put your foot it. down. Yeah, people people wanted it. It's just too dangerous, you know. Like there's uh, there's no as soon as someone posts an image of something fucky, it's it's over, you know. Why do you need someone else to govern the place to exchange the porn when you have the entire breadth of the internet? to meet anywhere you want. Well, why share anything that you like, you know? No, but this is a little different. <laughs> you could yeah. make a subreddit is and say, though, like, on a fundamental level, board. is it weird if it's just, like, you know, other people? Like, obviously, if you're sharing with your family, that's a bit weird. Oh, okay, yeah. so everybody's got a, a limit, I see. That's not what yeah. I mean. Like, why specifically in the NLSS community would you want to know about other NLSS Yeah, you're communities? like, I want to know what this guy jerks Fat off to. Factor. Right, yeah. Because then you have to, you get that image in your head of that person jerking off now. And do you no, really well, you don't have an image of that person in your head. Well, I Oh, I do. It's just an anime avatar. <laughs> well, I mean, if one of us was saying, like, hey, check out this cool porno, you know, they know what we look like. They know who we are. They don't want to know. It's just like a, a lot of people want to know. Don't don't lie to yourself, bro. <laughs> Look, there's a lot one, of people want to know. There is one no. porn I've ever wanted to share, and it's a very specific one. And I don't know if I should tell you what it is. Maybe I should. Is it the one where? <laughs> See, this is why guess? people share yes. porn. Can is you guess? it? Is it the one where uh, like? Five pterodactyls gangbang this girl. <laughs> no, it's it's the weirdest shit. Like, but not for like any of the traditionally weirdest reasons. It's somebody getting a BJ on like the 80th floor of a building, uh -huh. on the ledge outside of the window. Oh, that sounds very dangerous. It's terrifying. Yeah, at least no, they I weren't don't... on the 69th floor. <laughs> That's terrifying. Did anybody because, guess like... which one I was thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone seen the one where it's a horrible, disgusting spider outfit, and uh, and it's a lady and she she's, she's blowing a dude? Yeah, like like seriously, like it's like it. They put like some grease on it, so it's a wet spider too, and it's got like hair it's all a over wet it. Spider? Yeah, Whoa. it's fucked up. It's terrible. <laughs> oh, it's it's awful. It's but you still time. like found that mid act, <laughs> right? Like you. 
<laughs> I'm not saying you JO'd to it, but like, yeah, no. if you it were... didn't kill your boner, then there's questions. Exactly. You, uh, you yeah, were like, yeah. related videos, save this for later, I gotta show it to people. <laughs> well, I didn't show it to anybody, because you just assume that other people have seen it, you know, at some point. Exactly. Right? Do you think there's like room for extreme porn in this direction, like Tony Hawk extreme porn? What do you mean this direction? <laughs> well, oh, there's already extreme porn, like how? Oh, you like, like extreme sports. Over. I mean, like, can you can you give somebody a BJ on top of a crane as it's moving or something? On like top something of spaghetti. Really crazy. I'm what? covered in the thing. So, did you say spaghetti? Yeah, I'll cover it in cheese. I'll cover it in cheese. Covered in cheese. Yeah. Covered in cheese. <laughs> yeah, right. I lost my poor meatball. Uh, oh, somebody, please. By the way, this run will be done eventually. Nice. Eventually. I'm sorry. Um, I'm talking about porn. <laughs> No, I think that already exists, though. Don't they do that I'm already? Looking dolphin. I'm tired of looking at this. Nice, yeah. Uh, good idea. But is there, like, a fundamental with two consenting parties sharing porn if they have no relationship? Is there a fundamental what? The thing wrong with it. I mean, like, you're talking about, like, two people in a relationship? Or... No, out of a relationship. Like, two random people just being like, hey, I just watched this board. Like, oh, why? Well, it's it's kind of intimate, you know? Like, I, I don't know. I think it's kind yeah, of intimate. Like, what's yeah. the positive and what's the negative? There's no either direction, really. I think there's a negative. It's like a microaggression, you know? If somebody sends me a picture of porn, <laughs> I automatically have a picture of them jerking it in my head. Right, yeah, <laughs> exactly, yeah. Okay. It's not fair. It's it's not like you're sending me a dick pic, but you're sending me like a a mental dick pic. I mean, are you thinking of all of us jerking off right now just by talking about no, this? No, but if you were like, hey, oh, this picture made me come really hard, Ooh. I'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> now I'd be thinking of it. I can't get it out of my head. Just Is don't it think you want it. to now construct a narrative about where this picture fits into the scheme of the other ones. What do you mean by that? Like, well, what about this picture? Did it? Maybe I need to find out more. I think I know too much already. Yeah. What's the <laughs> positive to find out what you're No. What's the positive to all? I don't know. What's the positive <laughs> to sharing any form of media? Yeah, but like you, you can't okay. find it normally in porn. There's not that problem. Percentage wise, how many? How many? Like, what's the percentage you really think of people watching right now that want to think about any one of us in any sexual situation whatsoever? It's gotta be like twelve percent. Wait, can you say that? Are we, are we, are we playing? Uh, uh, what's the Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. I don't think what it's was 12. the question again? Like, anyone in in this chat? Like, what's the percentage of them wanting to think about us in any kind of sexual scenario whatsoever? Oh, 85. 85? 85? People, people. Oh, 85 people. <laughs> That's not a guesspionage <laughs> party. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, be real. If there was a post on the NLSS Circle Jerk and it was like, "Hey, here's Josh's dick," you'd click on it. <laughs> well, I mean, I would click yeah. on it. Yeah, I click. It's not it. because I want to. It's because I have to. Yeah, I know exactly. <laughs> I'm familiar. That's not. It's just it's sort of required reading at that point, right? Once the dick's out there, you got to know whatever you're talking. You got to put yeah. yourself on the same right page. I'm on the, want to see Josh the final That's fight. That's not fair. That's a not fair. He was the easiest person to grab, I think. Out of well, he's here. not here as well, so yeah. he's probably the most. He'd wanna, he probably want us to see it. I don't think yeah. so. Maybe maybe a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. Actually, no, he's locked down. He's got a house yeah. now. Plus, yeah. his dick's gone through some horrible shit over the past. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. He's all reeked up. Like it's a, it's not a good situation. <laughs> he got a house Ooh. locked down and shackled. Yeah. Mike Matei dick picked the AVGN subreddit? Like, on purpose? <laughs> or <Really>? not? <laughs> I have finally finished this run. See you in three minutes. Uh. Uh, yeah, I'll get golf it up ASAP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Golf it up? I'll get something up. Ooh. 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 Did you say his dick was all reeked up? I did say his <laughs> dick was all reeked up. Was that a reference? Uh, it was a it reference. Smelly? Okay, yeah, I just wanted to uh, I wanted to double check on that one. How's it going, Bear? Bear? Hey, hello, Bear Tappy. Bear, you want to send me your dick pic? Uh, I mean, I want to break the news, actually, I think. Oh, no. I want to go ahead and post it myself. Jury nullification. 
during the altercation, I stood up on my chair and loudly proclaimed in the middle of a conference room of 150 people. Jury nullification! So how do they, like, everybody knows that if you want to get out of jury duty, they just go like, well, do you have any preconceived notions about my client? And you go, well, he looks, you know, I just don't trust him because of the color of his skin or something like that. They'll be like, dismissed. That's like four steps into the process, though. I didn't even get to that point. A but lot like, of people don't get to that point. Is there like a rule, like a law that you can't do that because it's too easy? Like, uh, well, actually, Burning Couches in my chat was talking when we were talking about jury notification. He's a lawyer, and he was talking about it uh, in chat. Um, and he said there are easier ways to get out of jury duty other than jury notification. And basically, what you described is what he said. Um, generally, they just don't don't they want neutral people. So like. I don't think it's against the rules to say I have a bias it's, against this person. It's mm-hmm. self-selecting also, because if you were willing to lie even to say that you're racist to get out of jury duty, wouldn't they not want you anyway? Right. Yeah, it's probably. And I bet, you know, I was thinking about it like, you know, why would, doesn't everybody do it? But there's always people who are like, can we get a volunteer to go first? There's always like one person, their hand shoots up. So mm-hmm. some keener I, that's I, like, I, I can't wait to be part of jury duty. That person wants to be presiding juror. They they want to get voted by their peers to be the most important juror. And that's scary. Yeah. I'm in a weird spot where I I don't want to do it, but also I absolutely wouldn't lie either. So I'm just along for the ride until they're done with me, yeah. I guess. Well, you I, really want to lie to a judge anyway, right? No, you I know? just I don't want to. You don't have to lie to the judge. Like, you got to lie to probably like a, 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 cl- a clerk. A handler maybe. of some kind. Right, yeah. yeah. Unspoken ouch will be one of the one of the holes here. Owie, ouch, owie. How about Ruin Run? Okay, yeah, sounds good. Thank you, Kept the Labs, for the $5 tip, the Bearded Cat for the $5 tip, and Irvine Winsley for the six ninety. Appreciate it, guys. It was actually just, like, the most boring thing I've ever done, though. Yeah, I believe it's that. It's a lot of sitting in rooms, right? Waiting for stuff? It was 100% sitting in rooms waiting for stuff. Yeah, that Constant. was literally it. What happens if you're selected for jury duty? For like one, like the O.J. Simpson trial, it's like three months long. Your life is fucked. So you, you just like lose your, your, your job. You lose yeah. your like job. Ten bucks a day. You get ten dollars a day. I think yeah. so. To I to choose what happens to a man's life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought certain instances of situations where if you're sequestered for long enough, they have to change the story a little bit. So I hope ask so. The, ask the lawyer. Yeah. Actually, don't ask me. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I have read, like, horror stories of people, like, being on jury duty, you know, being on a jury for, like, a year or more, you know. Yeah, and, like, cases. people are saying in chat, you legally can't be fired for being on jury duty, which is Still true. But, okay, right, yeah, but, like, what but... if you're, like, a doctor? <laughs> yeah. And you're like, right, I, yeah. oh, sorry, like I can't a... see you for three months. Uh, yeah, I'm or, like, a counselor or something. Yeah, exactly. Like, that, that story happened on The Sopranos. We were also we were also talking about this on the no LSS it, like because like like yeah they can't yeah, fire yeah. you for that but like is it one of those situations where like you're gonna end up having to sue because you think that's why they fired you and then now you're gonna be in courts for another year or more trying to you know get what if you're a forward? Twitch streamer yeah <laughs> yeah Do you have a room yes dude like it's for not real, up though. yet one second. We okay. joke, but if I got brought on to like a Supreme Court case by some random pick of the yeah. hat, you know, like uh, that might <laughs> completely that bankrupt me. Channel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, join me. Join me. Plus, at that point, you're going to like be looking for a reason to find him guilty. You're going to oh, be yeah. like, I'm, I'm not going through three months <laughs> of this shit ruining my bias. career for an innocent man. <laughs> this guy's getting thrown away. Cobalt Chad, like I obviously don't know partner. what I'm talking about with this stuff. Quit clarifying points. I'm just <laughs> generalities. God damn it. Cobalt tweeted, if you're a Twitch partner and just got back from PAX, don't look at your dashboard, but that was like four days. Like, yeah, exactly. Right, yeah. Exactly. Well, speaking of which, your Twitch Prime tokens may have expired. <laughs> Apropos <laughs> of nothing at all. But they're not um, half no. price yet, the Correct. new subs. That's not Twitch Prime, so just Correct so you know. as well. Man, we got, like, some horrible pings here. Yeah. They're working themselves through. Let's go. Got to clear the tube out. It's full of poker chips. You got to get one of those bingo balls through there. I love bingo balls. Shit, I misjudged this. Turn back now. Oh, boy, yeah, me too. Hold on! (laughs) Shit. Which one is the hole? Oh, I did it. The hole's right here. Yes, try. 
It's right over here. I wanted to uh, right dial back to the conversation about, you know, those those measurements of things, like a few or a couple or okay. several. Okay. Really happy yeah. it's that conversation and not the other one about <laughs> right, those alternative yeah. Yeah. statements. Go ahead. Yeah. Because, like, I always thought a few was four or more. Four? Really? Four? Well, what's three yeah. then? Well, that was actually, like, I had to be corrected there. My, my brother had to let me know. No, see, a okay. few is three. But then, right. like, several has got to be four or more, right? No, no I, I was, was like it's, six or more. I, I'm kind of I in the five up. Three or more. I'm totally with Bear. Four okay, or more. there's like a complete divide on that one. Well, it's yeah, according to the Merriam-Webster dictionary, a few can be two or more. So, like, we're in backwards land, apparently. That's a good point, yeah. Chase it was a couple, plus a few, several. If, That's if the you order. said two, if you three, said you had several bad days in a row, and those that was that meant you had three days, would you scoff at that person saying several? Yeah, I'd say you had a few bad days. Now, come on. I'd be mean, like, hey, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> it's a dick move to judge somebody on something so silly over bad days. Well, well that's like the show, though. Yeah, that's the yes, show. That is a good point. Yeah, that is the show. <laughs> um, I think I'm stuck um, up in these rocks over here. But does it matter? Like, does context matter? Like, if I said that you had several nuclear bombs in your basement, and then you're like, well, <laughs> actually, I only have four. Yeah. That's more like a few. It's kind of <laughs> different. What's a bunch? Because that's Ooh. like a banana bunch. So uh, I'm kind of saying it's right away. Bunch. I would say bunch is higher than several to I me. I think a bunch has an upper cap. It's like a four to seven. Hmm. Mm. Right. What's the biggest bunch of bananas you've ever had? Probably seven. seven right? Yeah, seven. seven eight, seven's pushing yeah. it because then you got like a weird middle banana in there. Yeah. Yeah, the really tiny ones. Looks like Megan Fox's thumb. I wow. <laughs> tiny bananas. Yeah, like a plantain. <laughs> They're not plantains though. I forgot about that. They aren't. I thought they were too though. Plantains was it you and me that were on the same side yeah. in that one? We thought plantains were tiny bananas, but they're I actually sure big it, bananas. Man. Somebody else told us we're dumb. And... They're very big. Yeah. They're the big ones. I uh, I will say more of a fan of uh, sweet plantains than uh, the savory plantains, personally. There's two different kinds of plantains as well? Yeah. Well, there's several that's, that's different two kinds of plantains. Baking kind and eating kind. Well, there's the, you know, you could have the savory kind, which is kind of salty and, and you know, cooked a little bit. Oh, uh, my Jesus more, Christ. more firm and then there's this the sweet kind which is typically cooked a little bit softer and is sweet and delicious oh that's a good argument abraxial bunch is definitely not max seven that's changing how, how many Why can not? bunch be <laughs> what's what bunch's bunch upper threshold wait a minute a bunch of marbles might actually uh... change my mind though yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, seven marbles. Like, okay, at even, some point, though, be a bunch. at some point, it stops being a bunch and it starts being a ton. Because if you had, yeah. like, a closet oh. full of marbles, you wouldn't be saying you had a bunch of marbles. Oh. You'd be saying, I got a ton of marbles. Is there right. something between a bunch and a ton? Well, Probably. See, no, what I if I said a fucking bunch? A scat. Oh, that's, like, way too Scads. many. That's a lot. Do you guys yeah. think that, like, a fuck ton is actually less than a ton? Uh, no, no. It's definitely more. It depends yeah, on the context, more. probably. Like, if you said you had a fuck ton of cocaine, then I'm, I'm probably just like asking a couple of different questions at that. Right. Point. Yeah. yeah. And what about a metric fuck ton? Because that's even a whole other, you know, type point. of situation. Those are qualifiers yeah. we put just to sound like we want to put more emphasis on the words that follow. I kind of mm. thought like a, a fuck ton was just a ton of bad shit. You know. Mm. uh Here's the thing, though. I think we've just learned something about a bunch. Yeah. And perhaps all of these other ambiguous size uh, words. I think the size no. of the thing you're describing changes the definition of the number. Okay, yeah. Because, like... The larger an object is, the less of it you generally... Yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Because if I say I had a bunch of hot dogs, you know, you could say... Like, if I had five hot dogs... That's a bunch. Hot dogs yeah. would, be, would be accurate. However, if I said I have a bunch of marbles and I said five marbles, that's nowhere near a yeah. bunch. That's almost a couple at that point. That would be a couple, yeah, right? Like, that's like the non-two couple. Oh, do shit, do we hit it into the... Your... We hit it into the wheel, don't we? Oh. No, you don't have to. You don't have to? I, I'm gonna anyway. I'm gonna that's try, yeah. I think we base it on reasonable expectations. So if you've got a bunch of marbles, I really don't know what the fuck you're talking no! about. No! You'd say, like, at least a bag yes. of marbles is a bunch of marbles, But, like, right? a bunch of hot dogs, I assume you probably mean three or four. 
Like slightly right. more than what I would consider average. No, I, I would say that's like 20 hot dogs. 20? That's way, that's a that's ton. That's a dude. fuck ton. That's a fuck that ton. Is, that's yeah, a bunch of hot dogs, At that man. point, it's absolutely a fuck ton of hot dogs. How do you... Well, it depends on for how many people, though, doesn't it? Like, if I'm having a, a, a like a grill. If you are having a grill and you needed 20 hot dogs, I'd tell you to go to the store and you order You call it having a grill? No. No. I <laughs> or having a <laughs> grill. Yeah. No, you'd say, okay, go to the store, just get a... Fuck, just get a bunch get of a hot fuck dogs. Ton of hot Having dogs. a grill there, eh, bud? Yeah, but if you're getting a bunch of hot dogs, what are you gonna, gonna, gonna go, go get a Lucy hot dog out of the pack to get five? <laughs> a Lucy hot dog? <laughs> it's cigarettes, man. Oh, it's a cigarette. Lucy. Yeah. I've never heard that before, actually. A Lucy? A Lucy. Yeah, you must have. You've watched Dave. Well, I, 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 I was never Lucy's. around many cigarettes, man. Mm. I was shocked. Also, they don't really sell Lucy's in most places in the world, probably. But Chappelle had a whole skit about Lucy's. He did, I believe. I loosely and you guys heard have prayers all watched on your Dave first Chappelle's album. everything. What'd you call it? <laughs> I've not seen Dave Chappelle's everything. I thought most. If you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, you haven't seen his dick. No, I haven't, Dave seen, I haven't seen his asshole. You'd have to click it. You absolutely. Just... Absolutely, yeah, definitely. I've seen Eric Andre's dick. I mean, who hasn't? Right, yeah. He just posts it everywhere. He fucking takes that thing Ryan. out in very inappropriate places. Mm -hmm. Ryan. You're, right, you're right here, bud? I don't know if I'm okay. You're not a big <laughs> Plinko guy, are you? I'm just trying this to... Reverse yeah. Plinko. You gotta, like... No, this is okay. No, it's not. Oh, no, 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 it's it had the right off. idea. Do you think if uh, James Franco was on Wheel of Fortune, he would be James Plinko? <laughs> All right, let's not go down this route. Let's continue talking about budgets. <laughs> James <laughs> Franco. Oh, oh God. Of fortune. It's a <laughs> mouth. No. They were doing like, you, you think of James Franco wore a green hat, he'd be James Banco last night. And then Mouth said, do you think if James Franco was on Wheel, uh, was on Wheel of Fortune, he'd be James Plinko? Nice. You think if no. James Franco rolled around in some garbage, he'd be James Stanko? Uh, we've, we've d we did this for 40 plus examples <laughs> last night there. <laughs> You couldn't say one we didn't. Oh, now this is a challenge. Hold on. Oh, God. Why? We started doing things that didn't rhyme anymore because we ran out of things. Where's the. I want to if, know more about the he, bag Hold on, hold on, hold on. If Fair. James Franco were the sidekick of a lesser known character from Ed, Ed and Eddie. No, we already be... had that. James Planko. Damn it. Fuck. Ah. Uh. Yep. Where the fuck are we supposed to go? Ryan even did James Ubastanko. Yeah, James. Okay. I don't like how you say yeah, you Ubastank, have... by the way. Ubastank. It is Ubastank. It's Ubastank. No. Unless you're in. I didn't know that. I thought it was Ubastank. 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 I don't even know where I'm going. Magic yeah, this cluster. is weird. How many is a cluster? Uh, oh, that's like. Cluster? The cluster is like a real thing, isn't it's it? It's like when four things become know. one object. Oh, Ooh. well, we have cluster fucks. Yeah. So that's, that's like four things fucking. That's Correct. when you lose control of your cluster. A bunch though. of things happen, and then they all go crazy. So, by the way, Zilla Poop Fart in my chat said he works in produce. <laughs> yeah. His uh, most banana bunches contain six to ten, no. with eight being seen as the optimal bunch size. Really? Wow! wow. Nice shot. That's yeah, that was really good. <laughs> that was incredible. Where so you got five bunches? on bottom, five on top is, is like a potential banana bunch? That seems excessive. That seems a big, that seems like a big banana bunch. What is this? You gotta use the ramp to get a the boot. The floor is breathing. <laughs> yeah, but what's yeah? What's up with that floor? Is what I mean. I did it. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh fuck! Wait, there's more. Oh god. Oh, damn it. We gotta do Where do I go if I get breathing? Um. <gasps> Freak out! Oh no! Oh no! Don't send me backwards. Where? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? What am I supposed to do now? Dom? I've never seen a ten banana bunch. I'm gonna count I, them all. You've probably now. seen them. I'm sure you've seen. He's them. done it. It must look like fingers everywhere. Dude, I'm like a four to six bunch banana man. Yeah, I err on the low side of things. I don't want it to go bad. Four yeah, I'm not eating ten bananas eat. a week. I mean, but four is a small amount of bananas. Did you guys, when you started like living on your own, did you have to go through like a period where you were still buying food for like a family of five because that was just what you were used to having in your house? And then you had to realize like, oh yeah, I don't eat that much. I need to start buying less food. Mainly no, because I'm poor. But <laughs> I did buy a lot of stuff at the dollar store. Mm. Uh, fun fact, don't buy meat at the dollar store. 
What kind of meat did you get? Bro, he's, he's some... told this story like you can't even, 600 times. You can't even get like spam at the dollar store. It's gotta be like spim. We got... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, basically, I got uh, I got some brown chicken at the dollar store. Oh, you know? yeah. Yeah, okay. it had some, had some browned up bones in it, um, which was pretty gross. Pretty nasty. Wait, where do we, we go? Browned up dollars in it. Yeah, that's a good point. Wait, where do, where do we go? Yeah, okay, don't do that. Jump the hump, man. You gotta jump the hump. Jump the hump and bump the dump. <gasps> oh, there's oh, a it's hump. So clear. You gotta jump the hump. You gotta jump the hump. What the, the hell hump. kind of hump? What are you talking about? It's right here. Where I am. Right? Oh. So right. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Go oh, I see it. Bench. I see it. Bam. I see it. Yeah. Does the town where you live have a mod pizza? Mod yeah, pizza? I think we do. I had some mod pizza in Seattle. That How'd shit like is dope. Yeah, I've never that's, been there. That's the next like chain that's gonna take the world by storm. Damn. Modified pizza. That's it's the, just that's it's the it's Subway for pizza. So you go there and you go like, hey, like smalls, mediums. All smalls are the same price. All mediums are the same price. All larges mm -hmm. are the same price. So you're not like, oh, I have to like do the math of oh, if I get pepperoni, I can't get spicy capicola, right? And then you pick whatever ingredients you want, like you're at a Subway, and then okay. they just bake it for you at 800 degrees Fahrenheit for three minutes and give you, like, a personal pizza. That sounds never, like a regular pizzeria. Yeah, I was going to say the exact same. I've never been <laughs> to a pizzeria where you couldn't pick the toppings and then they bake it for you. Yeah, yeah does that... it take three minutes in an 800-degree oven? No, but I go and I call it in and then I pick it up. Yeah. This Dude, is the weirdest thing. Like, are you arguing against the existence of, of convenient fast food? No, I just don't get why this is better. It's the same thing. Because it's instead faster, of using the yeah. pepperoni from the spim section of the dollar store, they're using, like, <laughs> high-quality ingredients. Are, I, are they? Because it feels like they would probably use less high-quality ingredients at a place like that. Hey, have you guys heard of uh, Mod Pizza? No, never heard of it. Um... Okay, here's a, let's let me have all your criticisms of why okay, you think this idea but, you're completely but, ignorant oh, of couldn't work. But hold on, if you go to uh, a, a subway, yeah, uh, would you say like, man, they use the highest quality ham that I have ever seen? Absolutely. I've actually not. heard they have a lawsuit about their chicken. That's correct. Really? Yes. Well, yeah, there you go. No, that's yeah. why Subway sucks, but Mod Pizza's cool. <laughs> so the catch is that I, I hate chat. <laughs> and, and you is an extension. It's like a new idea. And they're like, there's no reason for this to exist. Yeah, ju just open a 193rd million regular pizza joint. Why would you ever, like, do anything different? I, I, I'll, I'll admit, same price for any toppings. Pretty cool. It is expensive, though. Like, oh. for a person. That kind of defeats the only advantage. Yeah. <laughs> the, what is the the advantage? Is the customizability. Normally, you go to a pizza place. You tell you tell them what you you guys. I'm being. I'm saying this with the utmost respect. You guys are idiots. <laughs> when you talk, you go to a pizza place. Hey, can I get a pizza with literally every kind of meat on it? Unless you're phoning in some coupon from like 1996. That's just gonna cost you like 40 bucks a pizza. No, it doesn't. I, I, there's meat lovers pizza at my local. That's pizza not place. every kind of meat on the menu. That's every meat that they have at the You're store. You're an edge case, is the problem. I'm, I'm losing. They've gone from of meat in in the last three years. They've gone from like one location to like 300 locations, and I'm here being the one who has to like <laughs> explain it to people. It's like I got a 500 million dollar valuation. Nice. If it's this just... was on Shark Tank, I'd be like, "This is stupid. What are you talking about?" You would have missed out on like ad... an incredible amount of money as a result. What this sounds to me is like is like one of those like hipster joints that's like uh, like like hey we added this new thing to this already this thing that was already there and it already is the same thing that you already had before like hey I got this brilliant idea we're gonna add cheese to pizza and we're gonna have an app this is why I would never run a business with any of you <laughs> incapable I think of it's, seeing it be the other way around I don't think we should be running a business with you this it. it has. 500 locations it's like one of the fastest expanding restaurants of all time and your argument is literally as stupid because i think it's dumb the economics disagree oh i should have yeah this is a fun one i love pizza i'm not against pizza That's look the i mean that there was a there's a place called Genghis grill in houston that oh it's fucking really idiotic good. <laughs> I mean, you would go and you'd, you'd put all the raw ingredients in a bowl and then they'd cook it for you. It was great. 
That's cool. Just go back to OK Spaghetti, a restaurant we like because of its <laughs> fucking name. <laughs> See, that's a good idea. Dude, the name's all that matters. Haven't you seen the founder? <laughs> yeah, that's true. We're still uh, getting tweets about all the different adjective food places that seem to exist. There are three million locations. <laughs> Apparently, AG Shoe has a local pizza place where you could get all the toppings for 25 bucks on a large, which is pretty cool. That's Actually, twice as much as the mod pizza value proposition. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. But uh, actually, I have a question for you guys. <laughs> What's your large? How big is the large? That is 14 are? inches in 14 diameter. 14 is, is large? Yeah, that's a large. That seems wow. small to me. I ordered yeah. two pizza places, dude. It's it's 18 here. Really? 18 large, yeah. 18 inches. And did you know European pizza? Way smaller than American pizza everywhere. I would think so. Yeah. Well, you know what they say about pizza, you know? If it's not moddable, it's not boddable. America like is the hair. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just want to know what pizza place you've been to where they're just like, you know what? You've already, you've had your fill. No, you can't have pepperoni on top. Of no, you can always get more toppings. They're just more expensive. Most of the That's time. That's true. Yeah. How, like the how West expensive Coast is it? Inundated with like Mexican and sushi, and the East Coast has so much pizza that to us, this just seems like another day. To Ryan, this is the most exciting shit ever because he can have any pizza he wants. This is slanderous. I live in a city with three million people. I, I, yeah. I can get pizza. Okay. Just this idea is really better. Excited about a really benign thing. It's not that benign. Okay. Y'all are losing it. You just wait. I guarantee it'll be eight years from now. Nick will be playing Player Unknown's Battlegrounds and eating a mod pizza, and he'll be like, no, "Have I'll you guys it. heard of this? Have you heard of this? It's a great <laughs> idea. You you could get artichokes on your pizza." I don't really want that that badly, but okay. How about artichokes? Where are we going? I, I do have a question though. What? Um, no. What is the price? Because that is what will turn me. So like a, a medium pizza, which is like probably like twelve hundred calories. Well, like six hundred to a thousand calories was like eleven bucks US. That's pretty good. I mean, it's, it's pricey. I'm not gonna say it's not pricey, but ah, uh, it's like. Relatively, re re relatively, relatively, <laughs> relatively average. Here. Relatively. It's no, it's no spin. <laughs> right, yeah. Yo, does this track have wrong choices? Yeah, you went. Yeah. Well, you you see, Bear, if you look behind you, there was a big old arrow that told you to go the other way. <laughs> oh. See there, there's the arrow. I oh, like I the see. Yeah, no, I got That's kind of cool. Yes, I am a pizza elitist. However. Oh. If Canadians get to be poutine elitists, then I get to be pizza elitists. I live in New York. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I'm a sushi elitist. Yeah, I would imagine Vancouver no has doubt. pretty good sushi. It's, it's How do you feel I want to be a sushi good. elitist, but apparently my sushi sucks a bunch here. I wouldn't know. Wow. I've never eaten it there. I mean, I assume you live in a city with its like, big and relatively cosmopolitan. It's probably not too bad. Yeah, but it is pretty far away from the ocean, though. you got to get on the motion of the ocean. <laughs> Had to buy sushi that was nine pieces yeah. of sushi for five ninety nine. How outraged would you be? Uh, what, what kind of is it a roll or is it's it a like California roll? You get nine I would, slices. Is off it that. from the grocery store? Yes. I'm never paying six dollars for nine California roll pieces from a grocery store. Oh no, I will not eat grocery. Store what if sushi. it was twelve? It's twelve dollars. No, no, what if we have 12 pieces? Instead 50 of nine? cents per piece of grocery store California roll? Yes. Never, not happening. Not on my boat. How many would it take to get you in? Uh, it would have to be not at a grocery store, probably. <laughs> okay. That's probably. Right, probably ask the wrong person then. That's too snobby, man. I don't know. And grocery store sushi is good. Grocery store no. California roll is like getting a bologna sandwich pre-made at the grocery store. I actually love this particular one. It's, I think it's the best sushi I've ever had, but I can't abide nine pieces for six dollars. Really? It's the best? We went to a sushi restaurant in New York when yeah, you were here. Yeah, I actually like this place better. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Is it, do you pick it out of like a refrigerator section? I think or? you ate it actually while you were here. I ate your did you have... refrigerator sushi? Oh, that was Fox, wasn't it? I think Fox got the sushi, oh my not God. you. My bad. Two strokes I'll me. have to ask Fox what he thinks. The, um, the thing about it is that like, you know, 
you're not supposed to like refrigerate sushi after you after you make it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like that's that's why I would not. It's be... made fresh each day, and it sits for maybe about three hours in a light refrigeration before it gets bought. I'll tell you what, I've had too many bad experiences with. There was a place uh, by my house that uh, would sell all their sushi that they had at the end of the day for cheap because yeah. it was going bad. Mm -hmm. I've had some real bad experiences with that kind of sushi, so yeah, no, never this is high quality. Actually, this is real good. It's just not high quality enough to justify that price tag. That's, that's, well, that's it, I, I'm also like, California roll is like in the, if you were at like a, a conveyor belt sushi place, those are the cheap plates. So to yeah. be paying like six bucks for a roll of nine is a little much. That is a I lot, agree. yeah. Yeah, yo sushi was fucking expensive the one time we went. And fine food, but I, I disagree damn. with that. What? It was it was expensive. I don't I won't disagree with you on that, but I was like the sushi at Yo Sushi was like meh. Wait, that I just said is it okay. Oh, you said it was fine. That's like Oh fine is acceptable. Oh, okay. Oh, here's another yeah. whole conversation. <laughs> yeah, like what's what's better, decent or okay? Yeah. What's better, I, decent or decent. half decent? Depends how you well, say it. Decent is definitely <laughs> better than okay, I think. Well the other half of decent could be amazing, right? I think they're pretty close to each decent other. Decent has to be better than half decent, or we have no precedent for Well, anything. I kind of feel like decent and half decent are equivalent. No. Well, see, well, okay, here's, here's the thing. In England, they oh, say we go. half They say <laughs> half three, and that means... Chad, get your Rob's dirty. That means 330. I'm still working so, on this. I've been half decent. for nearly three years. I'm still working on it. Half decent might mean decent and a half in the UK. Boom. Oh, hey, there Fox is in my chat. He says it was okay, but I'll eat any sushi you put in front of me. Definitely no. not better than most restaurant sushi I've had <laughs> here in Toronto, though. Well, All it's right. like, Perfect. Malf Thank also you. was like, he was always talking to me about the sushi he ate in Saskatchewan, which is a province that is like, no I don't think they have water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they have a lake, right? They've got a lake. I don't know, dude. It's, it's just all, have... it's just all canola. Canola oil? It's just 100% canola. That's too much canola. Oh, God. Oh, I've reached the dead. I don't like how the sign just says dead up there. Yeah. Don't go to the dead end. It's oh, dead end, yeah. Though. You go up the little steppy stepperoos. <gasps> Ooh! Ooh! I can't. I, I, done can't, it. I can't. Magic. Can. You guys ever go to a dim sum place? Yes. What? Dim sum, dim sum, you lose some. I, uh, there's a dim sum place in my neighborhood. I gotta say, there was some weird shit that was being carted around there. Most of it, not very good. Was it a zero dim sum game? I would say so, yeah. <laughs> what am I supposed to do at the top of this hill? I think you don't, don't hit it, it that hard, you just hit it hard enough. Oh no, I keep falling in the pit. Maybe that's, that's what the grippers are for, they stop you. Oh, come on, come on, go, 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 go. No. Oh, it's too light. Yeah, but, Jess, you don't want to go to this dim sum place. Dude, I'm not, I'm not like 100% in for dim sum. Me either. But like, I think I, I almost... the name of a band. I'm not 100% in for dim sum? No, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dim sum? Well, Here yeah. It is. I also had like the worst experience with dim sum as a result of my own idiocy. Like, we went to a friend's place in in Ottawa once, and uh, we woke up the next morning. It's like the most hungover I've ever been in my life. And he's like, "All right, let's go get some dim sum." And we're just surrounded by like weird odors and like buns stuffed with sweet meats. And I was like, yeah. "I just want like a sausage McMuffin." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there was some like weird bony chicken thing and like I was told you're just supposed to suck on the bone basically and I was just like <laughs> I think they just told uh, me to suck their collective dick yeah <laughs> maybe what, the, what are you supposed to do here oh the, look at the ceiling it moves away you're supposed to oh climb. I didn't look up I neither did I um yeah that's yeah. chicken feet like dim sum is like one step above buffet to me in yes. like quality and then also it's not i think 
if you go to like a real dim sum place, like it's not necessarily suited for an American palate necessarily. You know what I mean? I don't know. I guess maybe. Cause they got it, some like legit shit there, and not all the legit Chinese food is. Uh... Well, Austin should know about that. He's always talking about uh, Chinese marketplace people. Is he? Oh, yeah. Like the one thing I said. <laughs> it has it nothing to do with the conversation. It has nothing to having. do with this topic yeah. of conversation. So I can't really like go into it. You know. I was. I thought I was like very feverish early this afternoon I go to Austin's show and he's arguing about like gambling and video games then I go to, to Nick's channel and I watch like the credits scroll in the background for like 30 minutes <laughs> well you and Lynn were talking about like some kind of Bitcoin apartment in Dubai <laughs> I was like what what happened in the five days since I've been gone <laughs> Rob's over there he's playing Madden everybody that he's drafted has the same face <laughs> <laughs> they're 100 percent the same yes. face i could see that being a really off-putting fever dream where everywhere you go something's just a little bit off kilter it was just very strange we were talking about that i thought you could mine bitcoin still and make thousands of dollars with mm. this one gpu and apparently there's something called what is it elysium or a, something to that ethereum sound. ethereum and that's apparently the new currency that everybody's into Mm -hmm. And that's why the GTX yeah. 970s were sold out because everybody was buying those for that. Did you Yo, know that? Have you heard of for 1070s, not 970s? Join me, join me, join me. Have you um, heard of Balzanium? Bal no. That's the new hot stuff, man. That's what you got to get in on. It's the new crypto. Really? Balzanium was the was that the Will Smith movie? I wanted to uh, I wanted to quickly highlight a comment here. Um, okay. Just because Rob's shitty, fat-filled palate doesn't like another culture's food doesn't make it bad. <laughs> you know, because of what you said about Mod Pizza, I gotta take their side. <laughs> I don't know. I, I gotta say, I don't think any of us, any of us in the call are gonna be uh, chomping at the bit to try to get at that tripe, you know? No, dude, I, just, I have the most American camping. palate ever consumed. Yeah! It's, come on, it's like, come on. Like, not, not everybody's into, like, the... the weird sinew stuff, you know what I mean? Let's go. I don't know why oh, everyone's God. like, how can you like Mod Pizza but hate Poutineer? One of them is a restaurant, <laughs> the other one is literally Google Maps. So you can't be mad at any business idea if you if you like any business on Earth? I... Anyone else getting like 5 FPS right now? It's no. all dynamic lights, but no, mine's okay. It is a little framey for me. Let's a go. Yeah, if you put all these lanterns like they did, you've got to kind of like block off some of them from each other so they don't interact too much. Looks neat though. When I was uh, no. when I was performing my civic duty today. Yes. I noticed that they spent an unusually long amount of time talking about the parking. Yeah, that was available by the building because it was it was downtown, and you know it's you know space is limited, uh -huh. right? Yeah, and they seemed like they were desperate for us to like file these complaints so that they could get more spots. And okay. it occurred yeah. to me like immediately <laughs> that this is a problem you? that is never going away for this place because no one here is going to take the time. Like no one here wants to be here, I assume. Or that's just like, I assume everyone's like me and that this is pretty inconvenient, but I'm legally yeah. required to do it. Yeah. And no one's going to like take the extra effort, I would think, to help them with their parking complaint, which apparently was much worse preceding me getting there. I guess they had like 50 fewer spots for like 300 people, they had like 60 spots beforehand, which was pretty bad. Chat's right though. Do you get paid the $10 for the day, even if you don't get selected? Uh, I don't know. So you, you might not get paid you, anything yeah. here. Yeah. No, I think you get paid absolutely because you still have to take the day off work whether or not you get selected. Oh, boy. Can't wait for my 10 whole dollars from the <laughs> Yo, from plus the mileage. Yeah, right. Well, I'm I'm still I'm kind of serious though. Like, being able to not be fired is one thing. 
Yeah. But what if you like own your own business? Yeah, yeah. no, I know it's it actually is a problem. Get fucked harder, I think. Yeah, or like you you work as a car salesman for commission or something like that. You know? Right? Yeah. But like do it like one of us doing it would really suck. Unless we could stream it. <laughs> <laughs> Just live no, stream the suck. drawings of the courtroom as you're drawing them. What if you work at the underwater Waffle House in Houston? Uh -oh. It's kind of a tasteless joke. Well, because the, there was a whole story <laughs> about it, and they tweeted, and then Waffle House was like, we'll get back to you, and everybody was like, well, Waffle House, you should know you don't pay your boys proper wage. All right, never mind. Mm, yeah. But what was... <laughs> In a similar vein, I saw uh, a photo of a tweet where this lady tweeted Weatherspoons, which is some company or something, and was like, man, the service is so slow at Weatherspoons today. And then Weatherspoons replied, and they were like, um, "Oh, we're sorry. We're working to uh, to uh, speed up service and delivery. Uh, we'll get back to you as soon as possible." And then the lady replies, "I tweeted this five years ago." <laughs> <laughs> that is really good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look where I've gotten my ball. Where yeah. have you your ball? You'll never oh, get there your ball. you go. Oh, Spider-Man. Sneaky ball. You'll never get your ball. Nice. Always. Well played. You will never get this. That was fake. All right. Yeah. Well. Like, who cares? It was fun while it lasted. Jesus Christ. Like, God. Like, the killjoys in chat, man. It's like, uh, like, hey, did you guys know that Key and Peele, they don't do real sketches? They're, they're all made up. They're acting. <laughs> did you know that? Please. Please. Crazy. Austin, your hat looks stupid. Thanks. <laughs> but like I just don't understand jury duty. Mm. What do you what what Wait. okay. Why doesn't Go the ahead. judge That's how we start a conversation, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> Why doesn't the judge just rule on anything? Like what is murder? Because that's the fundamental part of the judicial system in America. <laughs> well, we could just take a bunch of ladies and bathe them in milk and then use them as precogs and then decide they've done crime. That is not what I was suggesting. Oh. <laughs> what were you suggesting? We have trained legal professionals. Yeah, but they're not regular people. I mean they are. They're biased. How so? Oh, hold on, wait a minute. You know what? I'm I'm with you. I'm with you here. Why do I have to like I don't know anything about the situation. Oh, like, I didn't even know this law existed until two days ago. Now I'm going to rule on this man or woman's future. I didn't feel like I should be responsible for a trial. Yeah. Like, I don't think I'm capable of deciding that. Ten out Can of ten times, I would rather have a legal professional decide my fate than... Have you ever looked at the comments of a YouTube video? That's a jury of your peers. Jury. That's a jury of your, your peers, peers right there. Hello, Kate. You don't even trust your peers? You are a goddess. <laughs> Chat, I trust you. I think in a situation where shit gets really real, you'd come through. No, they just come. <laughs> yeah. We find the defendant guilty and uh, recommend the chair. <laughs> they don't do that in most states. All right, here we go. Here's the here's the ultimate question, right? You're on trial. Let's not make it something too crazy. Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, uh -huh. that's you... pretty crazy. Okay, let's let's tone it down yeah, a little bit. Let's call it you, money laundering. No, that's like worse, isn't it? That's like uh, I a... don't know. I don't... Well, it depends. I mean, I, I've seen Ozark. I know what embezzlement. Happens, but... Thank you. How about like you stole a TV? How's that? But you really needed it. You really needed it. You stole like a thousand dollars to feed your family. Yeah. This is the uh, pharmacist um, thing. Would you want 12 random members of chat on the jury? No. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely. Under kidding? no circumstances. Definitely not. No chance in hell. <laughs> Are you kidding? Well, like, am I Martin Shkreli in this situation? Do people know me and hate me? Do we Is not have a presumption of innocence? You are you, though? and it's chat. Yeah, so, it'd be fine. 
Isn't it Shkreli? Is it Shkreli? I don't know. I'm Shkreli, whatever, whatever he it is. It's a stupid face. Wow. This is why you can't have people on the jury. <laughs> I'm not saying he's a good person, but like, you're like, oh, I already don't like him because I, I read a lot of tweets about him. That's bias. It's a stupid face. I shouldn't be on the jury. Bear, this is the wrong course. <laughs> Where am I? Hit, hit it a lot, a lot lighter. Hit it lighter. Okay. Oh. <laughs> but then you don't, you go over there after? What? No, you go light again where Ryan just went. Oh. I've or no, not where Ryan went. Ryan's dumb. Don't Dude, know where Ryan mod went. makers, you... I love you, but you got to like tone down these lights. <laughs> I can't. Can you forgive me for thinking that was where I was supposed to go though? Mm, no. Well, no? this is Ryan went there again. I can't forgive him, but I can forgive you. <laughs> okay. Wait, where are we going? Yeah, see? You just get on the road and it just takes you. Very light hit, right? Yo, I got launched out though. Oh, I see, kicked. that was a mistake. You didn't do anything wrong. Chat says that they're not a jury of my peers, and I want to know what exactly that means. Like, how are you not my peers? What are our peers then? Uh, they are not that. They're American. better than you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where do we go? Yeah, you're probably not allowed to be on a jury, like judging a case of someone you know, right? You're absolutely no. not, no. Definitely yeah, not. so that's probably... Which is kind of like... Dude, how sick would that be, though? Definition of peer, anyway? Huh? That would be sick. If you could be on <laughs> trial, but your boys are on the jury? <laughs> so, like, can yeah. PewDiePie not be in a trial because everyone knows him? I just took three strokes and got a double bogey. How does that work? Par, par zero. Peers in this jury context is literally just random people. That yeah. seems like chat. No. That chat was the actual condition sucks. I presented. No, what if it's like Ryan's chat? Oh, hell no. And absolutely not. I'd give my chat a chance, but fuck <laughs> yeah, that. I, What's your I, problem? Chat, I'm cool. Chat, I Ryan, like you You guys. literally chat. offered the banned people from my chat your chat. Yeah, is come to my chat. I'll be Twitch Australia. I don't care. I'll take all yeah, the band people over here. Kind of shows a little bit. You <laughs> literally just said you hate Chad, like you screamed it. Well, that's just because Chad's being stupid about mod pizza, but we can put that aside. <laughs> I would always vote you innocent, even if you were guilty. See, my Chad's pretty cool. <laughs> Jury nullification. Jury no. Yeah, yeah don't get nullified. <laughs> Sorry for disqualifying you all, but honestly, it doesn't really work that way. Based on what I can see. <laughs> I still point. think, like, what if they just, they get a hundred people and they all go, he's guilty, you know, and they, like, nobody gets to be on the jury. Does they, do they just cancel the charges? I, I feel um, like a lot of the people working there might have just kind of been along for the ride. There's a case, like, like ju judges can step in oh. in, um in a situation where they think the jury is ruling unfairly. Yeah, Would but that like not what would be the definition of a mistrial? I mean like the jury no. selection though. If everybody's just like I don't want to be here. Yeah, I mean I guess they'd just go to a different jury, right? What if they never found one? <laughs> I don't think that's possible, really. Well, what is happening? But what if it did? Oh, I can't stop through this. the snow for a while. This is this is like hole four on golf with your friends on the desert level, but like way worse. You know what I'm talking about? The one with the just you it's like a straight shot toward the ant hole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The yep. ant hill yeah, in the middle. That one. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. That is the plot of the movie Burning. It's <laughs> a good What movie. if the entire United States no. collectively agreed every trial they're on always innocent? Dude, I would be would way apart. more concerned about people thinking that it's always guilty. No! What percentage of people out there believe that if you got accused of a crime, you definitely did it? Probably like 25% of people? I would think more it's more than that. Oh my yeah, god! That. That's how many the, like, Republicans are there? It's reported. <laughs> people assume you yeah. Even if you get accused. Ever watch that Cusack hung jury movie? Hell, hell yeah, dude. Runaway jury. You're losing me, my jury! It's a great oh, I'm, movie. I'm, 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 I actually love that. Rest movie. right here. 
Dude, something about courtroom movies, like, they're always exciting to me. Runaway Jury is like a, a 9 out of 10 movie. It's really good. So's My Cousin Vinny. Also yeah, a great movie. Both of them are really it actually good. is a really good movie. That's legitimately, like, one of my favorite movies. Yeah. You're losing me, my cousin! <laughs> Joe Pesci says that. In the... He does, yeah. That movie is so bad, that's not true. That's just incorrect, you're wrong. You can say it's so bad it's good if you want. But it's, like it that's also false, true. though. Yeah. Just as long as it's good, I don't nope. care. I Didn't it win it. an Oscar? Or someone My Cousin Vinny? I yeah. don't think My Cousin Vinny won an Oscar. Marissa Tomei won the Oscar for Best Supporting Ass yeah, Actress. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's I, awesome. I knew somebody won an Oscar for that. Yeah. She was really good at it. She was. She was fantastic. Have there ever good been a court jury movies? movie or like a court movie where they build it up the whole time, you know that the person that we're rooting for is innocent, and then they just falsely find them guilty and then the movie ends? There's that one hurricane movie with uh, Denzel Washington about the hurricane. The hurricane. It seems like yeah. if we like list any movies that meet this qualification, we're spoiling the entire mm. plot of the film. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Just seems like such a letdown. Oh, right? chat's right. To Kill a Mockingbird, completely oh. like unambiguously fits the bill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great movie. Good old To Kill a Mockingbird. Uh, What's that uh, one movie? Is it To Kill a Mockingbird? I'm trying to think. The one with uh, Kevin Bacon. And yeah, that's it. To Kill a Mockingbird. This <laughs> Kevin Bacon was negative uh... <laughs> thirty-two. No, but what's the what's the movie where it's a it's a court movie? Ke Kevin Bacon's in it. He's uh, on Man. trial, and there's a Footloose. there's one scene with a hooker. Dancing's and illegal. He, yeah, there's uh, he's there's one scene with a hooker where. She's like, oh, you can't do it when it's not hard. That's like putting an oyster in a slot machine. <laughs> <laughs> what? That part of the movie What's always stuck with line? me. What it's does a really that mean? Good line. Apparently you know that's, what it means. Think about it. It's a few yeah. good men. Oh, is it a few good men? Okay. Put an oyster in a slot machine. What? Good movie. Oh. It's like Brown trying cheated. to shoot pool with a piece of string. <laughs> like, yeah. like a spaghetti noodle in there. Yeah. Shoot pool with spaghetti. All right. <laughs> oyster in a slot machine? But I actually think like you could put an oyster in a slot machine. It would just be really disgusting. It would take it would forever. Be pretty it would hard everywhere. To do, yeah. And when I don't want to know what sound it would make when you pulled the lever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would just like yeah. belch and keel over. <laughs> <laughs> if a slot machine could keel over or belch. Let's get your oyster okay. moisture. Here's my impression of a Whoa. slot machine belch. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. Oh, That's like not it. bad. Really did sound like a slot machine. Nice. I'm into yeah. that, yeah. What? Ooh, oh, that's, that's a great sad scene. That was beautiful. Yeah, that's very Rhythmic satisfying. Strokes. I, I haven't seen 12 oh. Angry Men. 12 Angry Men, Chet. 12 Angry Men. 12 Angry Men. <laughs> it was originally like a play. Was it just originally a book or a play? I it was a play. High schools always do it as a play. I don't know if that makes it a play, though. Good point. 12 Angry Man. 12 Angry Man. 12 Angry Man. Hey, Yo, Sam, this angle much... doesn't work, though. No. Is there a better way to do oh, it? Oh, there we go. Okay, you gotta hit it on the inside. Oh, I see it. Mm -hmm. strokes, though. That, 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 that. Oh, oh you like the song? Mm -hmm. Nope. Ba -da -da -da. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I made it. Oh, oh, there's more. Da, 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 da. What about Liar Liar? Now that's a good movie. I actually like that Liar movie. Liar Liar. Dude, yeah. Liar Liar is actually like a nine. I well, a but aren't there two different liar-based movies? It's Liar Liar and Big Fat Liar, right? Big what Fat Liar, Big um, Liar? the importance of lying, starring Ricky Gervais. Uh, I like Big. It's not a movie about lying, but Big Fat Liar reminded me of it. Big is a good movie. Yeah, I like Big. Is the Shawshank importance of lying the one where he he always lies and then he gets mad about it or something? I like... can't remember, but as with all Ricky Gervais stuff, it ends up being a, a haunting screed about how God doesn't exist. And I'm like, I get it. <laughs> I, think dude. I saw that. Actually. Just fuck <laughs> Jennifer Garner and roll credits, please. <laughs> should always do that. 12 Anger Man. 12 Anger Man. That's the invention of lying. That's right. Yeah. 
Dude, go look up reviews of Liar Liar. You're making fun of me for saying it's a 9. Go look it up. The movie is beloved. I'm sure it's beloved. I haven't seen it in a long time, so I, I can't really say. You don't need to, like, make fun of, like, like, hedge your own bets on this. Liar Liar, trust your instincts. It's a classic film. I did enjoy it when I watched it many years ago. It's Jim Carrey, right? It's Jim yeah. Carrey. Yeah. Just trust sort of yourself. like a Mrs. Doubtfire kind of narrative, except with like, law. Go of regret. You've got What's to bet worst? on yourself now, because that's your best bet. What's the worst Jim Carrey movie? Oh, Numbers. number 23. The number 24. Number 21. Really? Yeah, you guys all yeah. hated that? That movie's terrible. Dude, That's... I remember, I was working in a movie theater when that came out. I didn't think it was that bad. I think there's oh. a Venn diagram that is just a circle. And you could call both <laughs> circles people who like uh, the butterfly effect and people who like the number 23. <laughs> what is the best Jim Carrey movie? Eternal Sunshine uh, of the Spotless Mind. Yeah, probably Eternal Sunshine. Were there any other answers other than number 23? <laughs> No, everybody no. immediately shows it. Yeah, that <laughs> movie's <laughs> so bad. It's not that bad. There's a lot of choices for best Jim Carrey movie, though. Truman Show. There is. Truman, yeah, I'll Truman accept Show, anything yeah. from like his comedy golden age on top of that. Like, If you're like mm -hmm. Dumb the and mask, Dumber, I'd be like, yeah, okay. I think The Mask is actually the mask a mask Ventura. Film. Fantastic. Yeah. I've yeah. never seen Ace Ventura. Oh, I, I've fun. only seen Ace Ventura, too. There's that one famously great scene where he climbs out of the rhino. Yeah, yep. it's like the rhinos give him birth, and then there's people off, like, looking at him like a safari, and mm -hmm. then this man comes climbing out of its ass. Mm -hmm. It's a I fake, took it's a fake a rhino. I a bad way. photo of the eclipse, and somebody replied and said, this is, like, what Jim Carrey must have been seeing from the inside of that rhino's ass, because <laughs> it was just, like, a small white hole surrounded by black. Sorry, what? No, you get it. It's like the perspective Jim Carrey had from the inside of the rhino's asshole mm, was right. mm, my yeah. photo. Right. That's at least a nice reference, even if they burned you. Mm -hmm. I think right. Jim Carrey breaks my, like, haven't seen movie where I've seen a lot of Jim Carrey movies. It's your like kind Jim of guy. Carrey. It just happens. It's part of being American. Yeah. He is Did you like um, Mr. Popper's Penguins? Oh, I never saw that. I actually haven't seen that one. Oh, get it? you know what? Good? No. Is Bruce Almighty considered good? Uh, yeah. If you're five years younger than me, yes. <laughs> okay, cool. I like ah, that. I don't know. That wasn't terrible. We uh, the, um... switching out now? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. There we're, is we're one play some that... Quick. See you soon. Yeah. Oh, dude, actually, yeah. Best Jim Carrey movie is actually easy for me. Uh, yeah. The Man on the Moon. He's That's so another good really good movie. He's really good in that. He's so good in that movie. Do you think like, you can absolutely. make a Man on the Moon by R.E.M. but change all the lyrics to Jim Carrey characters? Like, <laughs> Oh, here we go. Let's Stanley Ip kissing the mischief god. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you got Andy Kaufman in a wrestling, wrestling match. match. That's great. <laughs> Did you already know that ahead of time? That's great. No, it came, it came to me in the final moment there. Mm-hmm. I don't know, like, I can't, like, Ace Ventura, Lloyd song... from Dumb and Dumber, and Joel Barish, yeah, 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 yeah. Is this song about <laughs> Andy Kaufman? Something like that. I think they wrote it for the soundtrack, didn't they? No, it came out in, like, 1994 on Automatic for the People. Man on oh. the Moon is, like, a 1998 movie, I think. 98, yeah. Oh, I didn't even know. It has Danny DeVito in it, too. Oh, yeah. my guy. In can't a wrestling match. Him. Well, Danny DeVito plays basically himself. I don't care if he doesn't believe in vaccines, okay? <laughs> He's an actor. Yeah. Hey, Jim Carrey, how do you feel about vaccines? Everything that leaves his mouth after that moment is irrelevant to me. What do you think mise en scene? Then I'll be like, okay, let's see. <laughs> let's see. Yeah. Mise en scene. Mise en scene. Mise en scene. <laughs> Uh, would you like us to have some uh, mise en scène? Uh, <laughs> the stupid American thinks he ordered a soup, but actually it was about how to place things in the frame. Uh, this stupid American does not like sucking on bones. What a piece of shit. <laughs> 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 stupid American. Stupid Americans. Uh, two of angry men. <laughs> mm. Those. Men de fatigue. 
Waston, get out of my chat. <laughs> Do you still like Bill Cosby? He's just an actor. That's kind of on a different level, I think. That's like, not, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, come on. What? This Wait, is like maybe we're all hypocrites. Maybe we're all False hypocrites. False equivalency. Well, Jim Carrey had an opinion on something science related and was very ignorant. Yeah. Yeah. It's basically akin to what Bill Cosby was accused of. <laughs> um, you didn't even want to say it. I don't I don't like to use the R word. Yeah. Yeah. Righteous. Rudy. Anyway, I'm loading up quick flash. Room code. <laughs> Room yeah, code. Uh, you get our separate. Netflix. <laughs> That's a thing people probably say, isn't it? Netflix. Probably. Yeah. I gotta get my Netflix. 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 <laughs> they probably don't say that. I gotta get my nuts flicked. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. You punching the face, I ain't showing my day. Yeah, you're right. Oh, jeez, oh. you're right, Andrew. That was my uh, impression of. Oh, what is his name? The the neighbor from Office Space. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He played uh, that dude from the Drew Carey show. Drew Carey show. Yeah. yeah. That guy's good. I like him. What is his name? I gotta know. All right, IMDb of Office Space is hey. loaded with big stars, man. Did you guys... I have a question and a sub question. Mm -hmm. Did you guys like Apocalypto? Sub question. Oh yeah, I actually, kind of did. Yeah. Sub question: Is it racist to like Apocalypto? I don't know nearly enough about it. Hang on, why is it participate in this conversation? Like Mel Gibson directed Apocalypto. There's a bunch of controversy surrounding it. Right. Like I'm, a, I'm aware of it, yeah. and that's yeah. the extent. I'm, I'm looking at I, Diedrich I like Bader. It. Bader. I thought it was a good movie. Can you just like the work without worrying about where it came from, or is that... No, it's that's a what I hope. Play. Yeah, I know. I hope that's the case. His name is Diedrich Bader, I want you guys to know. We're going to remember that. He, he played... Possibly be his name. I might be mispronouncing it. Father. No, how do you, like how you pronounce... Just, is, is that that man? Oh, he looks a lot different now. Yeah, it's been years. It's a weird movie for a racist to make, is what I came back to in Chad. I all right. I asked the question. <laughs> Did you do, do you like the movie Apocalypto? I didn't see. It. Oh, okay. Well, how do you pronounce D I E D R I C H? Yeah, no, you're Diedrich, right. Diedrich, right? I just yeah. didn't think it was that man. I Who's didn't think that was his name. You talking about Diedrich Bader? Yeah, the guy from uh, the Drew Carey show. Yeah, and he was the neighbor in Office Space. Correct. I really thought I knew his name, and I didn't think it was Diedrich. He was Diedrich in Napoleon Bader. Dynamite? What? Yeah, he plays Rex Quando. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, that's great. He was all over the place. Whatever happened to him? Did he just like stop doing acting? Or oh, hold on, let's find out. He's in a lot of stuff, dude. He's he's busy. He was in the Beverly uh, Beverly Hillbillies. He's in Veep. Really? Oh, it's really yeah. That show's like pretty good. I, I don't I don't follow it, but like I watched a couple episodes here and there, and it's pretty funny. He's in uh the Tangled TV series, <laughs> Big Hero Six <laughs> series, loud. Duck Duck Goose, an upcoming 2018 animated film from the directors of Food Fight. Dude, this code is like the acronym I made yesterday. <laughs> Uh, I love it. Dude, this, this poster for Duck Duck Goose <clears throat> tells the whole story. This is Hold such on, a I got a good room code. Oh, that is a good one. It's a it's a it's a doo-wop room code. Mm -hmm. It is. We're all in. No, we're now we're all in. That's crazy. Nice. Let's go. Where are we going? Do to play some Quiplash. Oh, yeah. I was gonna play 20XX, but it didn't start up. Did yeah. do you guys like uh, the Lethal Weapon series? I like oh, yeah, Lethal good. Weapon 1 a lot. Yeah. I like 6. <laughs> right, yeah. <that's> <laughs> not, <laughs> not 1 through 5. Those ones suck, but 6 is about where it's at. Because well, that's the one they made up in Always Sunny. Well, yeah, they made up 5 as well. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. I, was I like the sequel to the one they made better. The cast of <laughs> A bachelor goose this must form a bonding one. with two okay, lost two ducklings as device. they journey south. A bachelor goose. They have to? Does it say like it's a real quacking good time? I wish. Family can be a wild ride. That's the tagline. That's a terrible tagline. Make a splash 2018. That's a little better. <laughs> They're about to find out being a duck isn't all it's quacked up to be. <laughs> Someday C dot is gonna be the room tag. That's probably true. Oh, that will be the greatest of days. You can never leave the lobby. You gotta keep it open yeah. forever. Exactly. That's like when, oh man, oh. back in the day when the Halo 2 server shut down and these Ooh. guys refused to turn off their Xboxes in yeah, order to continue that. playing. You remember that? Yeah. There's a standoff. Who's going to be the last one? Mm hmm. How many, Chat, somebody vote. run the math on that. How many permutations are there? 26 letters and four slots. 26 At least like times 90. 26 times 26 times 26. Correct. Oh, I can do that. Yeah. Can you do that in your head right now? Well, not in my head, but I have a calculator app. <laughs> 26 is That's 456,976, I don't think we'll be alive to see that happen. No, oh, I mean, we play it once a week, so we only need 400,000 weeks to have a pretty good shot, right? <laughs> I guess so. I mean, we're already at 399,999. But each time it happens doesn't mean we can't get the same one later. That's mm. also very true, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a great name for a nude beach in Alaska. Palin Peaks or Fleshy Point? That's a good answer. That's pretty good. Palin good Peaks. answer. Great like answer. It. Good answer. Thank you. Yeah. Of course it was fine. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now I'm waiting for oh, Gunter to show up, and that's also not starting up. What's going on here? Do you have some? Do you have another game open in the background? I'm wondering. Do you have a process for that game you played earlier today? Homesick. Homesick. Oh, that's a good question, actually. No. Okay. No, it's all shut down. It's just not open. <laughs> I had pay to see her daughter's pale in peaks. What a strange and creepy thing to say. <laughs> that is, uh, why? Wow. I'd pay this someone is, for nude photos of her daughter. <laughs> that's, that's This, this is cat. the person you want on your jury? <laughs> 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 the worst advice a doctor could give. Pick something from this drawer and eat it, or, well, you go. You better go see a doctor about this. <laughs> nice. Doctors do that all the time. Mm -hmm. They need to go see a different doctor. That's yeah, true, specialist. Yeah, that's that's all, their whole thing. <laughs> I hate that. I know. I want everything. Why don't all doctors just work in hospitals? Everything you need is right there. So we've been to the ER on uh, myriad occasions over the past few years. That's unfortunate. I, it, I mean, yeah, but I'm I'm getting pretty close to being John Q every time I go in there now. now if I ever see like two doctors having a polite conversation with each other, the whole system's going up in smoke. I'm like, we're waiting in here for four hours. Oh. You guys are having a, a conversation about the barbecue this week. No, they're still humans, though. Yeah, not not when I'm there. Not on the payroll, they're not. Exactly. I pay your salary. <laughs> what is the abominable snowman? Wait, what the abominable snowman does when he's bored? Make a bomb in a bowl or jacks it to the NLSS. Oh, a bomb in a bowl. <laughs> Make a bomb in a bowl! Oh, man. Bomb in a bowl! Who said that? That's Austin. That is me. Chat also did not get it in time, I think. <laughs> See, it sucks you can't explain your own joke or they know it was you that yeah. said it, so you gotta rely on somebody else to figure it out and say it. See, that's why no one's ever trying to be creative on this show. We just go meme city. The government should legalize illegal thing or marijuana. Legalize gay weed. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. What is, what is that so from? when we were in Washington, we heard that, like, marijuana is still illegal federally in the u.s federally but not yeah. on the this state is level. like the fbi could bust your ass in washington yeah. if they had if they wanted to for some reason stupidest shit in the fucking yep. world makes no sense you also have to pay i think your taxes as a business in cash yeah what fuck your day <laughs> you have to pay your business tax in cash yeah you actually have to do all your transactions in cash there's some weird how oh like, okay yeah 
<laughs> There's like a video of this guy from a weed shop that he's holding this envelope that looks like it's from a drug deal, but it's just like, you know, their business is earnings. It's like tens of thousands of dollars that they have to pay in taxes and cash. That's crazy. <laughs> Jesus. No wonder they keep getting robbed up here all the time. Mm -hmm. Pants would be a whole lot better if they could double as a parachute in an emergency or didn't exist. I'm all about gym shorts, to be honest. Weed. I'm not worried about shorts. Like, I don't wear shorts. My what shoes you have not that been That is day an undercover years. brother reference. Is it? Bear Taffy, the parachute pants. Uh, yeah. <laughs> have you seen Undercover Brother? It's one of Dave Chappelle's uh, everything's. A world without pants? No. Bare butts touching Doesn't Canada have vending machines for weed? Yeah, the way I understand it is that it's like still illegal, but it's too much trouble to actually shut down the businesses with legalization coming, so they just kind of operate. Every once in a while they get a fine, and they pay it and continue to exist. <laughs> That's real stupid. We should get it, over that. It's extremely strange. Yeah. Two time and to make it interesting, I'm doubling all the point values. You heard me. Announcer is very funny. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I almost read mine out loud for some reason, even though I'm not even hosting. Nice. Oh God, what is wrong with me? Go old school on this one. Chat, stop. I don't give you permission to spam that. I only give you permission to spam Mouth's top comment from the last PUBG video. <laughs> it's already on the auto ban, though. It's already on the auto ban? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, hey, chat, you should spam it. Alright, there we go. Nice. What if we made a game that's just PUBG but boats? What do you mean by this? It's just oh, PUBG but boats. That's a really <laughs> smart idea. Like uh, Blood Wake. Yeah. There you go. But bigger. Yeah, just like Battle Royale. Everybody's on a boat. Dude, I'm like, why did I just no, make no, a just football? You are a boat. If they come are, out with no, a yeah, fig campaign boat. that is like, we need funding for Twisted Metal, but it's a battle royale, I'm all in. Okay, everyone, mm -hmm. for your favorite. But you're that would boat. actually be kind of fun. There's not enough good vehicular combat games. Yeah, that's true. The, these well, there days. is that one on on Steam that. Um, oh, about what about trains? People. We're all oh, trains. Yeah. It's a battle royale train game, right? And you yeah. have to you build the track. Well, you fight. Okay. You, so you find like track. Yeah. Roller you coaster you go as far as you have track to lay. Yeah. Uh -huh. If you get but stuck. But you have to be the last train alive out no. of a hundred trains. No. <laughs> so roller coaster tycoon <laughs> battle royale. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. I played. Uh, I played a game called, this is Coming like next, just turning into genuine praise actually now. I, I played a game called Train VR, which was actually kind of creative. It was like a puzzle game with done. trains where you like had to figure out how to lay the tracks in virtual reality, which was neat. Oh, that's interesting. A name for a really bad Broadway musical. Lay Miserables or The Muppets Take Normandy. <laughs> Who remembers that, that shit? <laughs> Get out of here. It's not just Railroad miserables. Tycoon, it's a Battle Royale. <laughs> what if they made Dota 2, but it's a Battle Royale? Is there like, can the Muppets make situations, like any situation tolerable? Do, like any terrible no, thing, if you just like put the Muppets there? Can you right. pause it an example, please? <laughs> yeah, no, please don't. <laughs> Because there's one obvious one that's sitting there in the face. I, I, halfway through that sentence, I got on that same train of thought, Nick. I was like, you know what? This isn't really going to work very well. <laughs> the worst thing you no. could stuff a bed mattress with. Your own body parts or the proceeds from your legal weed selling. Boo. You stuff Boo. your own body parts every night. Mm. Boo. Do you stuff it, though? I do. Unless, you're in a, unless you sleep in a sleeping bag. <laughs> Apropos of the fact that we stayed in the hotel yeah. this weekend. How tall do you guys like your beds to be? 
at least six oh. and a half feet. What? I... <laughs> it's like yeah, the princess and the pea or something. <laughs> You, make you, gotta, you gotta have some core strength to get up into bed at night. Oh wait a minute, you're talking you're talking about height up from the ground. Yeah, out, yeah. Oh, yeah. The length okay, of yeah, the yeah, mattress. Yeah, yeah. My bad. Because <laughs> I'm like, like to pretend that you're four years old or something when you go to bed every day. <laughs> we have like a, an IKEA bed frame with wood slats, and then our mattress goes in it, and that's it. It's literally like a foot and a half off the ground. It comes oh, up to like God. my shins. I love it. Are you kidding me? Really? Yeah, dude. Sometimes I wake up at like four in the morning and I look over and like Ruka's sleeping on the ground next to me. I can just pet him without even having to stretch my arm. It's ideal. Hmm. The Japanese way is to have your base of your bed is the floor. You just have like a little comforter. I gotta be honest though, they're yeah. stupid. Okay, this is bullshit, dude. I was so close to putting your dick, but not with C's and K's, all eyes. I was literally, I had typed that out, deleted it, and then put your will. Too late. The four horsemen wouldn't be as scary if they were the four men at workmen of the apocalypse or the four Rex Grossmen of the apocalypse. Former <laughs> Chicago Bears quarterback. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. I like it. That's for Robin Bear, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> no one else is gonna. <laughs> Pardon me. Um, what about headboards? Do you like I, like a proper headboard, or you want like some big metal, like wrought iron shit up there to no, fuck your head? No. I don't care either way. Personally. I don't. I don't, I don't understand the purpose of a headboard. Yeah, I don't even so have one. You it. don't have a wall behind you, right? I do have a wall. I do have a wall behind me. me. The wall is the headboard. That's Why do I need don't. another wall? Why are you not putting I mean. put your bed up against a wall and then you have a headboard? You just put it in the just center have of the, the room. Bed against the wall, that's why you have a headboard. What are you talking are about? Are you not getting this? Why can't you just have your head against or your bed against the wall? Because you can't have your head against the wall. It's it's not a bed then. It's what? No, hold on, back up. All I'm saying, put put your bed against the wall. There, is there a problem with that? <laughs> yeah, because your bed can't be against the wall. That's what my instructions were. Why not? Because why do you have a headboard then? You don't need a head with what? This is circular logic. <laughs> yeah, it is. I was making a stupid joke. The worst menu item that starts with all you can eat. Oh my God. Mm. Man, this is. Uh, I don't like this problem. Poop. Um. Poop. Yeah, all you poop. can eat poop. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I'm into it. I actually know exactly where I like my bed height. I can tell you, it's it's not a metric that you would necessarily understand. What are you talking about? Yo, what? Dick, dick height. That's where I like it. Right around dick height. <laughs> it, it, that could fit for any one of you. Uh, different, different. What? Uh, Wait, different but you're never heights. gonna be us. I'm losing it. What did you just say? <laughs> I'm saying that's the perfect bed height. Now, is dick height. Give us three votes this round to spread out any way you like. What? What's a shiny glass? Do I want that? The worst menu item that starts with all you can eat. Dick. <laughs> the worst menu item that starts with all you can eat. But it costs more the more you eat. Mod pizza. All you can eat cadavers. Puss. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm still trying not. to figure this one out. All you can eat, but it costs more the more you eat. Okay. That got all my votes. <laughs> you can only vote for it. Well, it's... That's not true. Not in this one. I'm not voting for it. any of these. Happening. <laughs> you don't think the worst one is all you can eat cadavers? Because that's the worst one. All you can eat, all you can eat cadavers? Dude, I voted. I'm still a little mind fluttered about the hate for mod pizza <laughs> it's just a pizzeria but a lot faster and everyone's like that's stupid i mean if it's You're fast yeah, I, I guess but yeah. these are faster I everyone's it's maybe assuming there's why no, no no don't start with this i've never had a problem why is faster worse <laughs> well it's not cooked in a microwave it can't it be neutral it doesn't have to be worse I just don't care. Like, it doesn't hit my radar. I think also, typically, like, how fast the food comes out correlates negatively with the food quality. Yeah, yeah. you always cook a pizza low and slow. Well, no, just wrap you know it in a, I mean. in a airtight bag and then sous vide I mean. the pizza. 
If you ordered like some ribs and they came out in a minute, then you'd be like, ah. If they, if I was like, why did the ribs come out so fast? And they said we cooked it in an 800 degree stone oven in the back, I'd be like, all right, more power to you. Shit, Ryan, you flooded your own answer. I did. I finessed it. And I still get lost. Away with that. Well, I got away um, with it. I just lost anyway. Also, uh, rack attack. You make a big fuss about brick oven pizza. It's supposed to take a few minutes. True. Why? <laughs> this is a brick oven. You can't just say that it's supposed to take time. There's laws of thermodynamics. Oh, this is gonna be fun. And if it's not, it's your fault. Let's do it. You know, pizza. Dude, there's like, time if you cook something one, too quick, it's gonna taste worse. I think that's they're pretty much true. true fast, Generally, though. that's true. Oh, why don't you call in your order to the pizza place, show up two hours later? <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> it doesn't take two hours to cook a pizza. Well, if you want it to be better, apparently you just cook it longer. <laughs> this is like a reverse, this is like a logical extreme, like, beyond, like, like in the reverse direction. Go to the it's Wikipedia article. Compare your net worth with Mr. Mod. <laughs> this is a bad prompt. We can we can can we no vote this prompt to ever? Oh yeah, dude. This. I think this might be the worst prompt ever. Actually. This is like gonna be really offensive oh, no matter no. what we put down. <laughs> oh no, you don't have the one uh, I have. Then. Do you have that one, Nick? This is this is a bad prompt. Hmm. All right. Good luck. Pizza is meant to be cooked quickly at high temps. Rob and Nick are high on their own farts. No, I'm from New York. You can't tell me how to cook a pizza. I'm I'm not talking about anything specifically related to pizza. Just that I'm saying all my point was is that it's negatively correlated between how fast food is cooked. Uh, Rob, maybe we're just bad people. <laughs> you know, you might could make a good point. Yeah, like if I ordered sushi and it came out too fast, I would be like, oh, can you guys just take a little bit longer to bring this to me, please? Okay, here we go. I think you're being a little disingenuous there. Uh, they're being disingenuous as well. Specifically for Kim Kardashian. Name a candle scent specifically designed for Kim Kardashian. Odor de Kanye's wiener or no? <laughs> Uh. I, I, I wieners refuse. usually smell bad. I don't want like a perfume that smells like a bad wiener. <laughs> Why is it a bad wiener? Yeah, it's a bit racist. He, a little no, bit. No, is always like on stage sweating and like being excited. What's, I don't want to take showers. Like a wiener bag. <laughs> Hear me out here though. Yeah, I guess. Why don't <laughs> we have dick deodorant? Like Where would you put it? For you put it on right. the folds. Like lift the dick and put it underneath. No, you, yeah, you put it on the folds, like where your where your pelvis is. How do you apply it? Wouldn't the applicator then need to be disposed of? Why? How dirty you is your dick? Like, you got a dick stick, right? And it's gonna get sweaty over time after you use it five Dude, or six times. Dude, if we make the deodorant, we have to call it dick stick. Dick stick, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm so for this. A word that should follow. A word that should never follow. Beef. Beef extract or beef curtain. Just the one. No, I'm so I'm, I'm like this actually being honest. <laughs> we put it under our armpits. Our armpits are hairy and they fold and they get stinky. Yeah. Does it sound familiar? Yeah, I guess it does. <laughs> I think uh, part of the reason you don't want to put deodorant on your on your dick is you know how deodorant sometimes leaves that like trail of no, white residue. Stuff? Oh, residue. Well, yeah. Mm. Come on. We already leave a trail of white That's residue one? everywhere we go. We don't need. Well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> a good name like... for an elderly nudist colony. The droop scoop or old penises. <laughs> Groin sweat smells great though, NL. You don't want to mess with your natural musk. Why not? Because that's like how you get the ladies, yo. No. <laughs> it is rub your yeah, dick in your face. Absolutely get not. Right up in your balls and. <laughs> that, that's you. like that carnal energy, dude. That that smell from the groin. That's. <laughs> You gotta be attracted to that. <laughs> gotta. <laughs> Women do love them a smelly dick. <laughs> Why are you coming home? <laughs> in the morning. It will almost undoubtedly that's taste good. terrible. Something you should. What are you? Yeah. Oh, that's true. Actually. Uh, yeah, Unless you have some sort of a flavored deodorant. But if it already smells bad, like. 
It's still gonna taste terrible. It's just gonna taste like sweat. Make it taste like but an eclair. Like, but your dick doesn't always smell bad, though. It I, mean, only I think it. Bad I think it probably. I think it smells great after you shower, and then from that point onwards, it's just. Why are you smelling your dick? <laughs> you smell it from time to time. How do you? Oh. How do you, do you get do down, there? down there? You yeah. Get your hands yeah. down there, touching it to. You know, do your oh, you're just doing the old, the old, uh, what do you call you're it? Doing a scratch sniff. 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 Yeah, there you go. We had a one vote victory right there. Nice. <laughs> For something that shouldn't be put in a microwave. Mod pizza versus your children. Coming up next. Yeah. Wow. I shower all the time. See, this is the problem with chat, dude. <laughs> you come up with an answer to a problem, and they go, well, why don't you just not have that problem? I shower every day. I also <laughs> apply armpit efficiency. deodorant. You could you could apply this ridiculous uh, logical extreme. Why why would I ever need armpit deodorant? Just to uh, wash your armpits. Yeah, chat. You with the logical extreme. You guys are taking it too far. Thank you, other person at this prompt for. Oh yeah, this <laughs> is definitely right the, this is way worse than my Kim Kardashian <laughs> candle one. This is a horrible. If anything to write down in a form when it is for you sits. Plead the fifth to this answer or no vote. Plead the fifth to this answer wins. Yeah, Ryan, why aren't you just washing your armpits? That's- a, I guess deodorant is a lie. <laughs> why don't we get a machine that perpetually washes our armpits That's and just sits under one. our arms Let's always? Look at the scores. I mean, I'd be okay with that. They'll never stink. How, how big can it be? Are, like you a, are you okay with, like, having to hold your arms out slightly in order to yeah. facilitate the little, like, two. cleaning robots? It's just life now. Until we get nano robots to do it. You know what I've always wanted is a nose warmer. Uh, like, Something I can wear on my face during the winter to yeah. keep my nose warm. Well, like a balaclava. I guess, yeah. You but just the want, problem, like a little elastic band with a little thing at the middle. Yeah, like no, yeah, exactly. I don't want the whole rig. I want like just one little, you know, like a clown nose, basically. We could probably build this. I always thought it's like it's got to be something simple. I guess it's just like you know how when you have like an oxygen tank. You have to wear the little thing around your ears and it goes up in your nose, ding, like ding, something ding, like ding. that. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's, that was not me telling you to stop. That was Hector Salamanca. Oh, I see. Yeah. Telling you to stop. Mm -hmm. Man, chat's you're, right you're though. What about, a, what about the now. idea of a scarf? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to cover my mouth. I like, I don't want to obstruct my breathing passages, mm. but I want a warm nose. What you, do I do? You can't really like wear a, a balaclava either, is the thing. Because, like, it just, just makes you look like you're up to no good. In you the, are. It starts trying to make trouble in my neighborhood. Exactly. Um, you can wear in, like, a really blizzardy, snowy place. People wear balaclavas all the time, actually. If you wear one and you walk into a bank without realizing, that's just going like, to say, yeah. Right, yeah. In a problem <laughs> world now. <laughs> the next best thing to chew when you're out of gum. The skin of your loved ones okay, or your bro's down, gum. Oh, that's nice. Your bro would give you his gum. Mm -hmm. A ski mask is a balaclava. Balaclava? Balaclava? Eh, uh, balaclava. Um, apparently there is a dick deodorant. Dude, is I it called dick stick? Is it the man wipe? It's called, uh, sexual fresh for men. It's a horrible yeah. name. Uh, that's terrible. Yeah. Bad, bad name. Bad name yeah. How about, that's um, nice. this from Amazon.co.uk. Velvour Manhood Penis Refresh Intimate Genital Deodorant Spray. <laughs> Way better. better. Okay. I'd love a little Astronomically better. So I sprayed some deodorant on my penis area. Next and? Line. I feel so good reviews? right now. You guys should try it. Cool, cool penis. <laughs> Product received for free. Make receive commission. Oh! Austin, we jinxed on mod pizzas. Oh no. <laughs> And next is a Starbucks coffee that should never exist. Angry treasure chest in this game now. That's stupid. A Starbucks coffee that should never exist. Ginger and also bread flavor or diarrhea beady Sino. Chino? Chino. What? Sino. Diarrhea beaties Chino? Yeah. Ginger <laughs> and also bread flavor. Diarrhea beaties Chino. <laughs> cool, cool penis is a rejected Mario 64 level. <laughs> Close one. Blaze Pizza is mod pizza but owned by LeBron James. Correct. I've heard that. There you go. 
I guess you guys are all smarter than LeBron James. I didn't realize. What do you call a baby Sasquatch? I mean, if LeBron's running the restaurant, then it's a cool idea. It's probably better. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if only they had some kind of cool endorsement from a, a guy who's successful in his field. Like LeBron James. LeBron James. What do you call a baby Sasquatch? A Bab Squatch or a baby Sass? Bab Squatch. <laughs> Sasquatch is my father and he's gonna protect me. What's that from? Tenacious Take a a oh. yes. Chad is making fun of LeBron James for only having graduated from high school. The dude is gonna have like 40 honorary degrees by the time he's 40 years old. How many honorary degrees do you have, Chad? Yeah, it doesn't matter how you get the degree as long as you have them. Exactly. And he's got a receding hairline. Yeah. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> the name of the next hot boy band. Dill Pickles and the Dicks or the C-Dot Studs. Oh, oh, please tell me there's now. never going to be a fucking PUBG themed band. Oh, you know what? Dill Pickles why? is from the Rugrats. Correct. That's why yep. I thought of that yep. name. Mm-hmm. Dill was his brother. Yeah, the little brother. They had to introduce a new character. The show was starting to die. <laughs> People are getting sick of these babies. Yeah. They wonder if they grew up. There's a thing. There you go. Yeah, we yeah. gotta follow them all through life. Did that too. Rugrats, old geriatric edition. I think it was all grown up, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. it was uh -huh. <laughs> I'm all grown up. Uh -huh. I'd watch a Rugrats now, show where they're, three, like, the last, you know, last struggling 30-year-olds trying like to Seinfeld? get by. <laughs> yeah, exactly. God, I don't know. Was a failed engineer <laughs> like uh, Tommy Trump. <laughs> It's like uh, all that childlike that wonder is friends. shattered in that, in that horrible place where they create that show. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's, I don't know why, but that's, like, way too funny to me, too. Just seeing like I failed you, father. I could never make better toys than you. Our family lineage ends here. What? The st the, the storied history of the Pickles family toy factory. Because yeah. his dad wanted to make toys, but he was never very good at it. And then I don't really know what he did for work, to be honest. A better name for France. Frank, <laughs> Franck, culture, pants, surrendance. Right. I'm really cheesed because I wrote <laughs> France and then had the euro symbol as the last letter instead of the E. <laughs> and apparently Jackbox just doesn't have that in its in-game font, so sweet. I tried to do it with a Russian answer once. I tried to put Russian language in and it just had nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much ruined my whole answer right there. Mm -hmm. Maybe they'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Blaze Pizza is the fastest growing chain and is now the fifth largest pizza chain. LeBron wow. has gotten ten times the return he invested already. Hell yeah. That's pretty good. Dude, Tell me again about how what well, you would make fun of it when it's on Shark Tank. LeBron's <laughs> making change. I'll be honest, I'm just not going to a chain pizza restaurant. Sorry, New York. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm just not. This is true. Oh, pizza elitist. I know You guys want to hear my uh, impression of stereotypical American reads the map of Europe? Yeah. Yeah. Here you got Portugal, and then up north a little bit of Spain, and then uh, Frank coming up here in the northeast. Uh, excuse me, streamer. You forgot a country there. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We got a little one down here. That's uh, Andorra. He he got it. Wow. I'm amazed. That's it's Andorra. Let's take a look map, at the final I scores. I was looking at a map. <laughs> a map up there? <laughs> Don't give me too much credit. Wait, you telling me you got a map over there? I had a map open. A map? But 50% of Americans don't have maps. <laughs> so, that's true. I, I should be that's a shout out to the Alaska. So I'm all British. The Brit Britain. Brit 40% Britain. don't know how to swim. I know Britain because I got my doctorate at Cambridge. 
You see, this is a character who you thought he was stupid because he speaks in that voice, but actually he's very accomplished within his field. Yeah. That's a good character. I like him. That's where I invented the solar sail that Rob's so passionate about. <laughs> what about the Baghdad battery? What do you yeah. know about that? That's a good one. Were you actually tilted over that, Rob? Because, like, it felt like well, the, the fallout from that conversation was, uh... It, it carried on uh, Twitter for a while. It was, uh, I, I was happily validated, so I, I don't really okay. care anymore. It's just, it was just funny because of the meme that I'm wrong, but chat was wrong. Ha ha, get fucked. Why are there more Blaze locations in Edmonton than the rest of Canada combined? They fucking love LeBron James in Edmonton. Everybody knows that. It's the Cleveland of Canada. Cleveland is the Cleveland of Canada. Is that an insult to both Cleveland and Canada? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Cleveland is a land of warriors, man. If you think about it, cleaving is like it's a knight term. Mm. Cleave the shit out of stuff. That's awesome. You should Just be proud to live to make there. fun of the Browns again. Dude, the Cleveland Browns. Year. The Cleveland Browns. <laughs> You're brown right now. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna take the greatest nap after this fucking show is over. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so good. Don't you only have like less than an hour? I think I, we have two, right? Because it starts at seven. Uh, he said nine Eastern. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm sorry. I was like, I, I was excited laugh. for you for your nap. No, I thought he said ten. Nine. It says ten p.m. EST in the group. Oh, he changed it. Okay, everyone. Well, I don't know. All right, yeah, you, you got you got two hours and shit. I didn't see it. Little known fact: a secret area in the White House is the nonstop showings of Airbud Two Room, or a secret nice. area in the White House is the Green Room. Which was your favorite Airbud? Airbud One. That's reasonable. Why are we starting at ten so late? I know, I'm thinking the same thing, dude. <laughs> Dude. Why did you become Australian? <laughs> it's just quite. I have to be Australian to stay up that late. Because <laughs> oh, okay. it's like, you know, the morning over there. Tomorrow. It kind of all wraps around and worked into a real joke. It's <laughs> amazing. Mouth, if you want to start at 9, just let me know. Or does, like, it's Dan's. Not Mouth, Dan. He's live right now. Dan streams tonight? Okay. Uh, Mouth, go pester Dan in his chat. Get him to end early. <laughs> The most creative thing you can make entirely out of boogers. A statue of Ryan, or larger boogers. <laughs> okay. I am a statue Sorry, of yeah, boogers. Fuck, dude. I'll just never, never laugh at anything again. Look, God. I'm still mad about <laughs> mod like pizza, alright? It's just gonna take a little while to bring it back. What are they paying you? Are you are it you was gonna, just really good! On Twitter? <laughs> Hold on a second. Don't you guys think that Airbud was like... A universal success, wouldn't you say? No. Like, no? Right. Yeah, it's definitely. Because like everyone knows about it. Everyone yeah. our age in North America. Everybody knows, knows about, about it. World War Two doesn't mean it was a success. He's got a great point there. <laughs> that's, that's true. Yeah, have you ever heard of the Black Plague? <laughs> Must be a universal success. Literally Hitler. Wow. All right. <laughs> what the unicorn's that's, butt that's smells that's like? Huh? All right. Yeah. <laughs> what a unicorn's butt smells like. Dick deodorant or groin deodorant? You know what movies I used to watch when I was a kid? What are those ones? Uh, Ernest. All mm. the Ernest movies. Yeah, I saw, like, I saw like all of those. Why did I see all of those? Why did my they were on like, TV? Fathers think that they're good entertainment for kids. Dude, nothing wrong with the Ernest movies. I don't know. He's got I Ernest in his name. Song. Exactly. <laughs> That's true. Plus, he's he done the quintessential American experience. He's been scared stupid. He's been in the army. He's been to school. Been to jail. And he's been to jail. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that's the whole deal. That's, that's all of America right there. Right there. Right there, you got the old... Uh, whoa! Northern Light didn't finish his answer. I didn't finish my answer, but it was going to be that... It was like the number one complaint about hell. And yeah. I was going to say it's too hot, probably. Yeah, the 11th commandment. Thou shalt not follow me, it was all a joke, lol, or go to Chick-fil-A on Sundays. 
That's not Chick Fil A. That's Chick Fil. -A. Oh, that is Chick Fil La. Fil La. <laughs> Chick Fil La. That's pretty good. You guys heard about the Chick Fil A they opened up in the Atlanta Stadium? Yes. Oh yeah, it's gonna be like super. Austin. <laughs> What? What? I don't read it, I just ordered the what chicken! You look at one of your receipts! <laughs> Go to Chick fil La on Sunday. He's, He's done it. Fee La? Round one is in the books. Let's see the scores. I just see the big old little C chicken image. That's all I got, dude. Big old little. Big oh, old no. little chicken C. <laughs> Oh, little chicken seed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love making some big old chicken seed. I'm going to take a chicken bone and just shuck on it until I lose all the flavor. Oh, baby, I love it when they put that chicken in that pickle juice. Oh, it makes it so soft. Soft. I need the calories to power my brain during my rocket power. I just rock that chicken all over my head. I got a lot of brain surgery to do later today. I need the energy. <laughs> I got three separate doctoral degrees, and I ain't afraid to use them. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Whose emote is that? Uh, yeah, how, why is he like the universal face of like... having the redneck voice? Why yeah. is Twitch anything? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, That's, that was deep, Austin. By the way, I just wanted to let you know. I got the wow. Earthworm Jim gun and Gungeon, and I pretty much feel like I could kill anything now. The Hellblaster? It's all right. That's the Earthworm Jim gun. It's got like a red thing and it shoots so fast. Blaster, yeah. What? You get in there, nasty good luck. Like. Mm, yeah. Nurse, hand me 100 cc's of diethium. <laughs> a bad thing to yell during church. Okay, Jury nullification or rub that tasty chicken all over my nipples. Yep. I was uh, mining some Ethereum. I gotta get my supply of cryptocurrency <laughs> up. You know what? I could see that being a redneck thing. Cryptocurrency. Really? Yeah, that could. I could see that. Like them just getting like a bunch of bootleg PCs and just like strapping up on a trailer. Yeah, it's like a moonshine lab, it. but for currency. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Oh, Fucking Ethereum yeah. still. <laughs> can we just like make Bitcoin but cheaper so we can buy in on the ground floor? Yeah, there's like a thousand each right now, aren't there? Four thousand. What? Yeah, there are a lot. There were just a thousand. Next one. I've doubt it. Should have bought in. Should have bought, bought in. Should have bought in. Yeah. But like, you can't buy anything but like black market shit right now, well, right? Like, because no one accepts it. Well, yeah, there's a few bars in like it. Portland that accept. Yeah, it. but why would you ever pay for something that you think is gonna like go up in value? Yeah, exactly. Well, like, how how is it cash out. as how does it exist as a currency then? I think it's like 99% speculation or something, like the Vancouver housing market. The name of a canine comedy club with puppy stand-up comedians. Bob Barker's Doghouse or the Bark Barn. Such a smart fucking joke, man. Good alliteration. Uh, we had another one-vote victory for Bob Barker's Doghouse. Hell yeah! <laughs> the Bark Barn was good. Okay, next Bark one. Barn's good, yeah. Uh, Bark Barn. You get my vote. Slogan for you, you actually, person. Bear, you're the only one who didn't vote for Bark Barn. I know, yeah. It was, <laughs> I probably shouldn't have voted for Bark Barn. Having said it out loud, I regret it because <laughs> it's very satisfying. A bad campaign slogan for a congressperson. Just do it or jury nullification. Nice. Yeah, I'm into it. Austin, you're muted, by the way. I know. Okay. All right, just oh, sure. he's doing secrets. Are you arguing oh. with your chat about video game gambling again? No, my food got here <laughs> um, in fucking 13 minutes. Where's it from? Jesus Christ. Don't worry about it. It's not oh, Chick-fil-A. Is it Chick-fil-A? Chick no, Chick-fil-A, you have to spend 13 minutes in the fucking line at least. Yeah. yeah sure. What? Verifiable. What do you mean by Lines out the door yeah, always. Food is yeah. so inconvenient. Yeah, yeah but the, Mr. DoorDash doesn't have to wait in the line, does he? Yeah, of course, of course he does. Are you telling me you order it and then he goes to Chick Fil A and places the order and then that's brings? What the, that's what the company does. Oh, How no. do you think it works? No, no, no. It sends an order to the restaurant and then the restaurant sends that's out Grubhub. That's Grubhub. No, that's how DoorDash works here. 
DoorDash here, they just go anywhere you want and go yeah. pick up the food. That is like having a temporary slave. What about Uber? <laughs> what the fuck are you? That's the same as a delivery boy. The is way that, that no, no, no. The way hired anyone to do anything. The way that DoorDash <laughs> works here is that you like there's a restaurant and you like place an order online and then you see the thing ticking and it goes like okay the restaurant's made your order order and like Donnie has arrived to pick it up and bring it to your house. Mm -hmm. They call it in and they they say hey I'd like an order of this and then they go to the place and they take it and they leave and go back to your place. Make up a word for the watery substances that come out of a ketchup bottle when you first squeeze it. Can't chup or shploop. Shploop. A hundred percent. Definitely shploop, yeah. Absolutely. <clears throat> but I'm just saying, like, it's... Like, you tell the dude, hey, go order this from Chick-fil-A. Like, they don't have... Your DoorDash order doesn't go to Chick-fil-A first? It might. It depends on the restaurant. Some like, places it doesn't seem like it's saving you any time, then, in that case. It's not about time, it's about convenience. I mean, is uh, eating food right now during the show because I ordered it. Isn't the root of convenience saving time? Ooh. Are moving company movers temporary slaves? Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, we've reached fair the enough. round two. Let's see what happened. Aren't we all slaves, really, man? Wage slaves. Slaves to the We're system. We're just yeah. slaves to the yeah, just <laughs> society. Yeah, yeah, no. 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 <laughs> Welcome. To the last lash, the Dude, every time Bill Nye did that voice, trouble, like it wasn't round. funny. It just this pissed one. me off. <laughs> no, whenever he did like the uh, stoner voice, man, like whoa, crazy. Whoa, science, wild. Like, man. like anybody else can do it, but just for some reason when he when he does it, I'm like, ah, oh, I don't like when you do that. <laughs> it's like a fellow kids moment. Yeah. Well, he's like 73 or something, right? How old is he now? He's he's not that old. I think he's like 60. Yeah, he's 61. 61. That's not that old, actually. Nah. Pretty old for a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Get it? Because he's a fucking nerd. Fucking nerd. Fucking nerd. Yo, Rob, we gotta go play some football later, huh? Yeah, it's nerds. <laughs> yeah, we can just bash some fucking nerds. Yeah. Pants up, yeah. <laughs> One second. Oh, I didn't stop. I was busy oh. racking on the nerds. <laughs> the name of a cocktail for hippies. Moonshine margarita. Crypto is catching oh. on. Mountain Dew and racing fuel. Howie. Is that who? Is it something like that? That's, you how, that's how you sounded like you were doing su woo like you're in the crypts or something. Su -woo. Su -woo. Isn't that what happens when you uh, touch the flag in Super Mario World? Secretly a gangster, actually. We all know, we all know, we all know the song, apparently. Yeah, we're all playing Mario. You know, I'm actually. I've had moonshine before. Yeah. Me too. It's good, no. I've had Everclear? Is that Ugh. is that moonshine? By definition, you can categorize all moonshine as the way your experience was. Yeah, what was it made out of, Austin? I don't know, it just tasted like alcohol. <laughs> this guy thinks all beers are bad, but all moonshine is good. Mine tasted like horse piss, and trust me, I know what horse piss tastes like. You got it straight from the source. <laughs> it pairs nicely with a chicken sandwich day. from chick fil -A. Yeah, exactly. You have no idea. That's Would you guys eat horse? Do they serve you like a horse stores. steak? You can get horse in Japan. Really? Yeah, I've never choice. had it. <laughs> I'd try it. What are you, a Dothraki? No, I'm Dothraki? just saying like... What do you say? Dothraki. 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 The Dothraki. Dothraki. in the show. <laughs> it's not too rocky. <laughs> <laughs> Dothraki. Dothraki. It's a few Rockies. Rob, Rob, can you do a Dothraki impression? It's not no. Dothraki. <laughs> what do you say? How do you say it? Dothraki. Dothraki. No, it doesn't sound right. Like Dothraki. Gods, I was strong then. You'll score points based on the percentage. That was that was pretty good. Yeah. Have at it. For a Dothraki. <laughs> Dothraki. Dothraki.
Dothraki. And if she comes with 10,000 Dothraki screamers at her back. It's not a bad Bobby B. Yeah, right? Bobby Boucher. Bobby Boucher, yeah. Hmm. Ooh, okay. I gotta pee so bad, I can't hold it anymore. I'll be right back. Do oh, it. dude, me too then. Alright. Dude, everyone, everyone, everyone just go, please. First up, the worst things to The worst things to juggle. Relationships or career okay, and family. <laughs> Both went in the same direction there. Too real, man. Too real. They're not going to be able to vote now. They will not vote. There will be no quiplashes here. Where's the joke? There is no joke. <laughs> what do the you call? The joke is you expected a joke and you lost. <laughs> What do you call a 3.14159 meter long snake? A python. <laughs> oh! 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 How did both get back at the same time? That was fun. Equal pissing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They must have drank the same amount of fluid. You know what that means is me and Rob have the exact same size dick. That's true, actually. That yeah. means you have the same distance to your bathroom. We were actually talking about the color of your penis on my stream today, baby. Really? Uh, the yeah. color in what of mine way? Specifically? Yeah, yours specifically, yeah. Why? Why are you uh, always talking about that? Well, <laughs> so I described the half erection as a chub. Yes. Just yeah. didn't like oh, it. Oh, I get And then we, remi Bear's we dog. were told, reminded yeah. that your, your dog's name is Chubb. So Chubbs. I uh, uh, supposed that perhaps the reason you called your dog Chubbs is because maybe he, he's the same shade of uh of your penis. that is what what <laughs> I mean, i'll just That's say the it. reason you know that chubbs is black right <laughs> hey people sometimes have different That's color different shade wieners than their uh than their skin color vote on your devices a bad substitute for a surfboard <laughs> the u.s constitution or a giant crab named mr pincher nice he gonna pinch you <laughs> he gonna pinch <laughs> Keep on pinching and pinching. Rob. Yeah, I, actually, no, you know that you make a good point, Austin. I do want to know is your uh, penis the same color as Chubbs? <laughs> as Chubbs' penis or as Chubbs the dog? Ooh. Actually, let's, make, let's make that be the follow up. Nope, too far. <laughs> Damn, Bear, I didn't realize you were packing. Does that Damn change, bear. like, your opinion of me as a content creator? <laughs> if I have a yeah, big old absolutely. dick, does that make me, like, way more appealing? We had the same conversation at PAX, actually. They will. They what? what? Well, because everyone's always like, who do you think is the biggest dick in the LSS? Right. And then we were all like, that's kind of a weird question to ask, but independently we were like, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> something. It's something about the soft-spokenness. You know, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. I could speak no, softly sure. and carry a big stick. The worst way to spell Mississippi, my sis is pee pee, or Mississippi. There's also a piss in there. Have you all measured your dicks? As as a as a younger lad, I may have. Yes. Yeah. I never. Don't have. say you may have. Say you did. I didn't. I never did. You yes, never sir. did. Never. So I scared, don't scared of the truth. Did you ever try your own cum though? That's the real question. <laughs> 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 hey, stop! I'm just asking questions here. <laughs> what Waldo from Where's Waldo says to himself in the mirror? I should give Malf his shirt back or found him. <laughs> wow, roasted. I mean, you, you're just better living in blissful ignorance than Austin. Yeah, honestly. I mean, the reason why I haven't is like really stupid, though. You don't own a ruler. I don't have a ruler. <laughs> right. Oh. Yeah. Fair enough, yeah. And you don't want to use a tape measure in case it like snaps oh, back. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's dangerous, oh, dude. You don't yeah. want to do that. That'll lacerate. Yeah. Yeah. That's not good. That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. You could use like a, you could 
use something that you know the length of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like Compared a foot long that. sandwich from Subway. Work, yeah, like, well, no, like any six inch from Subway, because you know they're cutting them exactly six inches. Right. Yeah, but what do you use to measure the other half? Right, nice. Aren't yeah. there phone apps that are just right. like a ruler? <laughs> How? Uh, it, like, I was you, nice the make same a, thing. you make a point on a space it, with your phone, with the, you know, with the <laughs> camera, and then it's like marks it as zero, and then you drag it over, and then it determines how far that is. Really? Hmm. It seems like a thing that's possible. I don't know if it's real. This is kind of how my mind works. Seems like a thing that's possible. That's some Archimedes <laughs> shit. <laughs> yes, that exists. Well, there you go. That's amazing. Yeah, but do you want to put your dick on your phone? It doesn't bother me. You could me. measure another object and then use that to compare it to. Or you if could you buy take a, a ruler. picture of your dick, aren't you putting your dick on your phone anyway? <laughs> I never thought of it that way. I don't know. Do you have anything to gain from learning the true measurement of your dick? You can brag nah. about it. Yeah, I guess so. But, like, none of you are bragging about it, so what does that tell us about your stuff? <laughs> Speak the softly and carry a seem like you've got a small dick is to talk about how big your exactly. dick is. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here we go. See, I like the luxury of not even having the information, so I can't even brag about it. But I mean, you know, one way or the other. I don't. But you know. You you can, like, roughly judge. No. Like, if it's the size of a typical banana, you got a big That's a I mean, I'm, like, really bad at distance judgments. I'm really good at time judgments, but I'm horrible at distance. Hang on a second. I have to get this out of my brain while it's bouncing around in here. Okay. So, you got a friend named Richard, yeah, and he is selecting from several photos of your penis that have all been uh, fermented. What? Therefore, dick picks your pickled dick picks. The pictures are fermented? No, see, I had to set, I had to set all that up just for the sentence, dick picks your pickled dick picks. Dick picks your pickled dick picks. It's fun to say. Dick yeah. picks. Dick's pick, dick picks your pickle. Dick picks your pickle. Dick picks. Dick picks your pickle. Dick picks. Dick picks your pickle. Dick picks. The worst flavor for a snow cone: poop or water. It's time to play poop or water. That's probably already a Japanese game show at this point. Bro. That's I have one that's, true. is this a real object or chocolate? That one's really entertaining. Mm, that, that sounds, sounds really fun good, for some yeah. reason. They get, they put someone in a room, and they, there's something chocolate in the room, and they've got to find it, but it's disguised as a real object. What's the what's the show where they fuck with that's raccoons? Because fuck that one. Something oh, where they put it in the water and the raccoon's sad. Yeah. yeah. It makes raccoons yeah, like, called. like, we make raccoons sad, the show. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Every oh, episode is shit. just them... Fucking with raccoons. Dis called, disappointing raccoons. It's called Boo Boo Tanuki Kun. Ah, there you go. <laughs> I just made that uh, up. Minasan, Ohio. I, I really... uh, something you, know, you something shouldn't stuff with cheese. A cow or your mother? Stuff with what's cow the difference? Cheese is kind of fucked what's up. What's the difference? Whoa. 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 <laughs> but here, we got this out of you. We're going to let it kind of curdle up a little bit, and then we're going to put it back in you. Are you talking about my penis? You're talking about stuffing a cow with cheese. Oh, I see what you're saying, yeah. That's like feeding a chicken chicken. Yeah. And next. Did you see the show where they sent, it's a Japanese show, they sent a dude out on a date with a woman, but his goal for the date was to not let her know that he was only wearing a suit that had a front side, and on his back side he was completely <laughs> naked. <laughs> so he had to reposition himself as, as best as he possibly could to never show his back to his date. That's, That's great. Funny. And then they did it again, but they didn't tell him that the girl on the date was doing exactly the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It was a good it was nice. a good Reddit rabbit hole. How did hole. they walk through a doorway? Well, they all <laughs> wanted the other person to go first. Like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty funny. Did they put thumbtacks on the seats when they sit down? They did not. That was hilarious. Whoopee cushions? Yeah. Do they put broken glass in their food? <laughs> Do they hit them with baseball bats? 
<laughs> oh, I mean, they did kill them both at the end. Oh, well, good. Yeah, that's, that's the only way. It's poetic. The first inductee of the A-Hole Hall of Fame. Alex Rodriguez, or is this for douchebags or impressive anuses? It's, it's a... It's an important Baseball. question. Dude, I would totally go to an asshole Hall of Fame. Not for the best looking anuses of all time, but for douchebags. That mm. seems like a very satisfying time. Right, yeah. You like walk through it, you'll be like, you know, this guy's he's a real dick. <laughs> this guy one time, he laughed at a homeless person <laughs> as they went by. <laughs> and then all of his friends started laughing too. Incited an entire crowd in laughter. <laughs> Just, having just won five hundred thousand dollars on CBS's <laughs> Big Brother. <laughs> Pickled dicks, dick pics, and impressive anuses. Nice. Yeah. Are triple, have a penis museum. The they do. Yeah, it's pretty disappointing, honestly. I have a penis. I have museum. No God. <laughs> penis no. museum. What would you do if you were left alone Chill in the White House for an hour? <laughs> Asa Akira literally won an award for her anus. Yeah, but was it from, like, the Academy? Like, I just, I want to know what kind of governing body they have. It's the Akira Academy. <laughs> That's pretty good. Right? <laughs> a, she should make one. AkiraAcademy.com. I, I feel Akira like Academy, that has yeah. to exist. Mm -hmm. Current events. Do they have a museum for anime? Yes. Oh. Anime museum. <laughs> what is that reaction? Oh. <laughs> Two seconds. Anime is is, I want to think about what oh, that looks I didn't like. Finish. Here's what everybody wrote. Think about your dad. <laughs> What's your dad oh, like? I should have definitely said watch Air Bud 2. How did I not do that? <laughs> oh, you can get in the room, though. What would you do if you were left alone in the White House for an hour? Pee on pretty much everything? Jerk off in the green room, search for hidden artifacts like Nick Cage, or more than the current occupants, LOL, got him. Oh, Rick! He might like that first one. <laughs> Who's he? <laughs> the president. <laughs> Donald Trump. This is uh, getting a little... <laughs> hey, hey. Don't do that. <laughs> 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 yeah. I, I got him though. You didn't get him. Gorka. You got real close to the mic, dude. I heard that. <laughs> Gorka. Gorka. Oh yeah. <laughs> I knew if I did one more, I'd get robbed and Joey. I fucking knew it. <laughs> Uh, oh man, chat, you got my back, don't you? We got him, didn't we, chat? Yeah, I think you got oh, him. We got him! Oh, they got him. Trump doesn't even know what's coming. Dude, I bet he watches this. He just got roasted. Here comes the tweet. That's the end. <laughs> no talent, Northern Lions. <laughs> and his failing Twitch show. <laughs> Couldn't even get past the round of eight in Champions of Fire. Sad. Who do these streamers with animal names think they are? Think they're better than me? Can you do a, like a good Donald Trump Man, Randy Savage. That was... This is kind of a Randy Savage mixed with Shrump a little bit. I'm trying to figure it out. Shrump? Shrump. I watched the show. It wasn't even funny. It was it's not good. that bad. It really wasn't. Yeah, it was pretty good, yeah. It's a little bit uh, Jimmy from South Park, though. <laughs> I was hearing like channeling Seth Meyers' version of him or something. Right, yeah. It's yeah. an impression of an impression. <laughs> Believe me. Believe oh, me. you you should try Michael Caine trying a Trump impression. Not Ryan. I think that's maybe up your alley. I'm Michael Caine. <laughs> Nothing goes up my alley. Believe me. I would know. <laughs> that's young Michael Caine. Um, <laughs> just Michael Caine. <laughs> that's young Michael Caine. It's anyway. just the worst. Good, goodbye. Why don't we take some nine pimper channels? Hey, Bear Tappy, <laughs> why don't you start? Oh, hey, everybody. I'm Bear Tappy. Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, B A E R Tappy. I'm going to start playing Slime Rancher because I feel like Ooh. that's just like this pure happiness that I need to experience in my life right now. So I'm going to try that out over on YouTube soon.
pretty solid, enjoyable. Sick, mm-hmm. like sick, it. sick, sick. How about you, uh, Rabbit? Oh, hello, I'm Rob, also known as Alpac Patrol. You can find me on Alpac Patrol everywhere, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube, and Discord.gg slash Alpac Patrol. I've uh, been doing a lot of Madden lately. I know, exciting sounding, doesn't it? But it's actually pretty fun. Um, <laughs> I know, and, uh... exciting sounding, doesn't it? <laughs> this is me, a real human being, speaking like <laughs> real human beings do. I'm not a robot. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Robert. Um, but yeah, it's a good time. Come by. How about you, Austin? Hello. Uh, PUBG. That's just lots of PUBG. Mm-hmm. Come on. <laughs> that's, all I, that's, that's, that's the only game that anyone plays. That's not yeah. true. Yeah, that's I, not mean, true, I'm gonna play, I don't I'm gonna, play it. And I'm, I'm, still gonna, I'm gonna play Metroid and Mario and Shadow of War and that comes out, but nice. none of that comes out yet. When is Shadow of War coming out? October. That's next year, isn't it? Something. Oh no, is that October? October something. What's Mario? I'm October thinking of something. Monster Hunter is next Nothing year. Nothing lasts it? forever. Even cold October something. <laughs> is Monster Hunter World next year? 2018, yeah. And nobody knows when it's because it's going to be console first and then PC later. Eh, Hope, stop that. Hopefully, stop. like 12 hours later. Do Let me that. issue a stop that even <laughs> off our show. Just stop that. Stop. Stop. Dude, I will play Shadow of War as well, despite it uh, milking people. Oh, yeah, it's going to be great. Uh, Probably. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, it's going to be more of the same, but that sounds good. They just really like making everyone think it's going to be terrible before it comes out for some reason. (laughs) They have a really (laughs) good track record of doing that. Yeah. Of of giving people reasons to hate the game, and then you're just like, oh, surprise, it's actually like a masterpiece. That, That happened last time, too, didn't it? Yep. Anyway, how about you, Nicholas? Hey everybody, check me out here at twitch.tv slash Rockley Smile. Played a little bit of something called Songbringer the other day. It's actually quite cool. Uh, it's like a procedurally generated Zelda game with like Super Brother Sword and Swassery kind of uh, aesthetic. Swassery? It is written <laughs> Swassery. Is it not? Swassery. Is it Swassery? Yeah, huh. I thought the W was in the wrong place, so, so I've always been saying swassery. that. And now I'm really self-conscious that I've been saying it wrong for years. <laughs> what do you um, say, Sword? Sword and Swassery. I thought the W. Anyway, you can come check me out. I'll play more of that tomorrow uh, if you'd like. And uh, what else? Uh, other stuff. Weird indie games. That's the thing. Come on over. See you later. Sick, sick, sick. Goodbye. Sick. Thanks for having me. Thanks on. for being yeah. here and Thanks like for having us. providing us with yeah. excellent banter. Yeah. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> nice overlay. Yeah, I'll change it. Tomorrow is overlay day. You should get a cr- the cryverlay going too. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. I just hung up on the mid-sentence. But, you know, no, you hang up. No, you hang up. Thank you to everybody for your support during the show. Scott the Human, that was an outrageously uh, generous... I can't speak English. I'm My brain is, like, melting down. Uh, it was an unreasonably generous cheer. Thank you very much. And an equivalent, but let's be honest, slightly smaller thank you to Dudok22, Jake Monroe, Trespassers, I Could Be a Hero, Dudemeister99, Trespassers again, and Hare Krishna uh, for uh, the cheers as well. Streamlabs actually caught, like, most of the show, I think. Read this message and I will give you 200 bits. Look at that. Problem solved, buddy. I'm not smoking weed. I'm just... I got a fever. It's like... My brain thinks it's, like, hot right now. But it's not hot. It's just my brain itself that's hot. Are you going to play Cuphead? I don't know. I'm worried about people calling all my, uh... Calling me into, uh, question my skills as a, as a game player and journalist if I can't get past the tutorial. It's not legal here yet, so it's not even plausible to, to consume it. Why are you still here if you have a fever? Well, the answer that I'll actually tell you is uh, that, you know, I just I can't stand to be away from you guys for too long. The real answer is that it's my freaking job, you know? I gotta, <laughs> I gotta be here to avoid financial oblivion and also to banter. Exactly. Exactly. Wait, what emoji is that? Heart underscore eyes. There it is. 
Why is everyone laughing at me for saying fever? I have a fever? You set my soul on fire. Um, thank you, subscribers, as well. Bud Naked Crazy, Seska, Zepcon88, Samurai Bison, Seska, again, Graveyard Rose, Pugglesworth II, Loplop452, Lop Fine Fresh Pine Forest, Ronnie Tuchin, Fire Hell Kite, Lemonon Rye, Fenmio, Chase Yojimbo, Scoozle, Scoozle, Chazzy, Visceral Shadow, Remix Relay, Guram Fluffy, Oni PC, Celebris88. Is that like a, a dick hardening pill? Celebris? I say fever wrong? How do you say it? Don't even start with me. Noah.com, Mativicus, Chaotic Euphoria. Chaos ZV21. Nightfire355. Trent Heister. Topher216. Shake My Shamrock. Newsom. Fido Burrito. Fluffy Squirrel2. Dandy Guy in Space. Lutherian101. Seedzu. Kindod. Zarzus. GD1Z. AJ400. Off the Meds. Gino Y2K. Sasuke2610. Hesitant Hedgehog. Just say it like lever. Oh, you have a fever. Oh, my head feels so bad. I have a fever right now. Orinlu, Paraprophet, Phoenixion, Guarding, Guardian Grant, Gaston's Spare Biceps, Laxman85, Beep Pizzle, Zebulonius, Pion Delth, The Realist Smurf, Fish for Me123, Sir Roland Blunts, Zwang5, Kenalejo, no, Spinitz, Noramax, Siphon6, Fly Away on My Siphon. Six. Marshmallow Joe, Meatwad 5296, Antimatter Dynamite, JW Pointy Stick, 69, Emerson 69, I will not play Dota 2 tomorrow. Uh, Black Phoenix Joe, 13, Scapegoat 1986, James Bonder 007, Tech Tight Toe, Loco Loco 143, Trial by Respawn, FFS, Special Cornflake, Death Machine, Gary Nope, Mr. Hitter, Stock 27, Warmadillo, Whamadillo, Warmadillo? This kid, Jaga, Stock27, Mythos Fall, and Join213. Thank you guys very much for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for making an effort to watch without ad block. Um, I'm going to go take some DayQuil. I will see you tomorrow for the NLSS.